Alrighty, let's get into this Star Trek themed survival gameplay thing with random planet stuff. I don't know. I just felt like playing a normal game, sort of, of oh, Space Engineers with no restrictions whatsoever. I can build what I want, do what I want, and I thought I'd want to do it with a Star Trek thing because I like Star Trek, so that's what we're going to do. So here we are, I've made a custom ga uh, galaxy, no, I wish you could make galaxies. I made a custom star system, um, it's got like a bunch of planets, that planet has a bunch of moons, stuff and things for us to explore, it's got all the Star Trek resources and ores, so we're going to see how that goes, I haven't played with the Star Trek mod in a long, long time, so I think that it'd be a very interesting experience for me. Am I drifting? Is it, or is it my mouse? I think it's my mouse. I got too much uh, stuff on my desk. Got like notepads and things and all this crap from work, and I've even got like a bottle, empty bottle of water. <laughs> Everything's getting in my way. But anyway, here we go. Let's start off. We got this rock here, which I have no idea what it has on it because I don't have an ore detector, and I forgot that you don't start this game with an ore detector. So I think our first objective, our first goal, is to one get this mouse. Stop. There we go. Put that cord under there. The cord and the mouse. I have a wireless mouse, but I just always have it plugged in because the battery, <laughs> the battery going flat bugs me sometimes, and it does it at the most inconvenient times, like basically at any point. Oh, I just vented everything in the space. That's no, I don't want to access that. I want to close the door. Okay, let's do this. Now I didn't put. <laughs> okay, <laughs> apparently I just jumped off the edge. I didn't put all the automatic pickup mod on because I forgot. Um, that's fine. We won't be doing much hand mining anyway. We just gotta get enough of these rocks to Andrew. Yes, the hand. But the Andrew only works so far. Like, actually, well, gold is there. And hello, Sherman. Um. Okay. <laughs> I, I want an audio deck though because I don't want to have to stop at every rock, but yes. Uh, what was I doing? I was digging a hole. Because I want to build. I think the first thing I want to build is going to be um, a drill. Uh, is that wise? I don't know. It's just the way I'm planning on doing it. It would allow me to grab, it would allow me to grab a large amount of rock, which I can then convert into. Yeah, it is better than nothing. I just don't mind the hand drill either. Look, the, the level one hand drill is it, it's annoying. Inventory. But when you get to the um, when you get to the oh, there's lots of rocks fighting about the elite tools and stuff like that. It's actually not that bad. Let's be honest. But yeah, um, I really should have put the automatic pickup. I don't know why I'm blowing around. These rocks don't matter. I don't look. It's just quicker for me to mine than it is for me to pick these up. But that's fine. Let's just do this. All right. So what do you think? Do you think I should start with a, a building a drill attachment to the ship, or uh, do I have to build the no the basic assembly can do the? Wait, no. I, I need a small tubes or large tubes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do I actually need for the drill? Um, I need large steel tubes, which I don't think I can make with the basic assembly, uh, with the ba uh, survival kit land. Let's have a look, production. No, we can't. Okay, well then, you just make that much. Get me all of this start up, and then we'll do it with an assembler. Just go for the basic assembler, because they force us to. Or detector? Yeah, I think or detector might be the best way to go. Um, let's have a look. Where would I stick this? I need to find somewhere here. Maybe we can stick this. It's gonna break the lines. I don't really care about the lines on the ship. I've already got one. A world where I'm saving this ship. No, I wanna build that. Okay. I think we. We'll, I think we might put that in like. We we'll put the basic assembler thingy here. For now, in that section there, there's so much stuff flying out. If I just dig a hole straight into the side of this asteroid, it'd probably be a bit easier to contain these rocks. But hey, we just hold down F while we drill. In the meantime, we can tend to get most of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's do this. Actually, I think we have to make the basic assembly before we make an auto detector, because I don't think we can make the Wait, can we make detector? Bonus of the survival kit? That's a, a question I didn't think to check. 
Um, move. Okay, let's call it that. Production. No, we can't. So yeah, we have to make the basic assembler first, unfortunately. Well, yeah, annoyingly. Okay, there's so much stuff over here. Eh. See, I can't help myself. I, I see the floating things. I'm like, I must pick it all up. And I'm, I'm trying to... There's so many floating things. Why did I do this? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, Smokey. Calm down. It's fine. Uh, no. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's go and... Just keep digging this tunnel. Can If I keep digging this tunnel into the... In towards the asteroid, these little rocks can't float as way as easily. Though I feel like I'm digging in, like, to a side of a thin part. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Yes. Okay. Inventory Whiffle. full. Yeah, inventory's full. It was stuck in a tiny hole. Okay, there we go. Ow. That's a wall. Okay. Have we got enough ores to build the things that I need? We need 740 iron ingots. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. I hate the start. <laughs> the start is so tedious. I, I like both love the start of games like this, survival games, and at the same time I'm almost like, so it takes so long to do things. Okay, we are digging the right way. This little hole isn't that big. I want all the asteroid rocks. Give it to me. I need them more. I think once we get the assembler up, we'll put, definitely get the ore detector up, and then I think we'll do. Inventory full. Um. We'll, so yeah, we'll do the assembler first because we have to. The the just the basic one, not the full on one, and then we'll put a drill on the ship, and then then an ore detector. No, an ore detector. Then, no, no, no. We'll do the drill first. Then the ore detector, because the drill will just let us get a ridiculous amount of resources um, faster. Okay, well you know what, here, hold on, you don't need to really make me that. I can salvage the, the steel plates if need be. I really kind of just want that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put... Let's design this thing while that's doing. Okay, so we'll put the that there so it's connected then we're gonna need an ore detector um, I don't have any mods that rely on the ore detector because there is that um, it's, uh, I can't remember what it's called but it uses the ore detector to detect things on asteroids right away I don't have that mod I don't remember if it's a mod or a script I'm pretty sure it's a mod I don't have that so we I don't have to worry about where we place the ore detector, but I'm thinking we'll just dump that right here. Um, like so, why everything is like a brownie colour, I don't know. Okay. Apparently I was doing something before I started this world. That's fine. Um, yeah, we got that. Put the ore detector there, we put that there. We're going to need, eventually, a refinery. So just get, give it. So if we put the refinery here, just the basic refinery. All right, that'll go there. All right, so we got a basic assembler, a refinery. We got the ore detector and the drill. Now the drill, I would usually just stick out here. Um, is there an attachment point on the bottom of the survival kit? I think there is, isn't there? Uh, there is not. Okay, I was completely and utterly wrong about that. They do have it on each side. So, what we'll have to do is we'll have to make a thing. I'm not, not going to do it right now because I don't want to evacuate the entire place into it. Uh, the oxygen. I need oxygen still. So, we might have to just make it like a little T junction here that comes and then a little thing that comes along here and hopefully a conveyor junction with what do you call the conveyors with armored conveyors yeah we've got the armored conveyors don't we uh we've got titanium ones we're not tritanium we're not up to tritanium uh just where's the damn vanilla ones <laughs> it's probably mods of everything just it's right in front of me oh no there it is yeah so i think we might use like these blocks and as long as i make that solid surface be up the top there 
It should remain airtight. Uh, is it airtight? Did I put build info on? Apparently, I didn't put build info on. Why don't I have build info on? Good work. Um, anyway, I'll fix that later. Are we there? Are we done? How are we going? Uh, production. Okay, we are done. Sweet. Give me this. Are you going to be mad because I don't have enough steel plates? I'm going to be short, like 23. Okay, that's fine. That's so fine. That's why we cannibalize our ship. So I don't have to deal with waiting for things. There we go. That's like... Is that 23? I don't know how many that was. That was not 23. I'm oh, five short. Of course I'm five short. Um, there you go. I just don't want to take it from the front of the ship because I don't want to vent the atmosphere. Energy low. I know energy is low. Alright, uh, so we got that. Now let's do the or like can we build the ore detector? Basic assembler radio detector components. We can, sweet. So hmm, I wanted to do a drill first in my I'm all over the shop. Um can we I think we got all the bits for the drill. Yep, looks like we do. Okay, we also need a couple of conveyor tubes, so let's just go one, two, three of those and grab one of those. Then we can grab a bunch of stone and then we can put the ore detector on and then we can all love life and uh, be happy, merry, and all the other fun things. I need a drink, I'm thirsty. Okay. Alright. And of course this is when people decide to call me. They haven't been quiet all day. No one has given me a single second thought. And now, try to call me. So I'm just going to quickly put my phone on silent. And then we can be all happy dory and continue our lives without interruption. Because that... It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, I just dog. <laughs> now my dog is annoying me. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I now got leads all over my hands. Um, now let's grab. How's the assembler going? You're going there, but you're gonna need a lot more stuff. Okay. Oh, well, I guess we get back to mining. <laughs> this is why I want to get the drill up. Um, it's probably the, the refiner would also help as well, but I just yeah, I think the drill is the best option. God. Energy critical. Oh, my energy is critical. I know my energy is critical. When is my energy not critical? Thank you for telling me more than three seconds, more than half a second before I run out. Also, I do have that food mod on. I gotta remember that. Um, Inventory full. Yeah, that's. Bit of an issue. Uh, where's the sh vehicle? I don't know why I put the food mod on. I just sometimes like the food mod. We got an unknown signal out there. Okay, well, why this does that? I'm gonna go grab this unknown signal. Hopefully, we can get there within two minutes. Uh, I don't trust. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna lose. The, I'd lose the uh, swarm pod if I didn't put a GPS marker down. I have done that before in the past, lose the lose my vehicle. I don't know if I've done the spawn pod, I'm pretty sure the spawn pod just stays respawn pod on the screen the whole time, but I don't know. We'll see. I just want uh, I want food, I want water, so I can not have to worry about food and water for a little bit longer. Just to help tie me over that next little bit. Please and please don't be one of those ones that like tries to run away from you. I hate those signals. This is further out than I thought this was. It's alright. Be there in a sec. No oh, that was a terrible life choice of my mistake. Oh no. <laughs> um. Alright. Uh, this is stupid. I shouldn't be doing this. Low health. Uh, where's home? Yeah, we're not gonna make it. That was a. That was a dumb. I did a dumb. 
At least we launched my stuff back at the rock. <laughs> oh. Alright. Come on. Let's fine. Do that. Where's my stuff? I don't think I had anything on me. I did the stuff that we went all the way out there to get. Oh, now my food is all ruined. Wow, that is, uh... They nearly made it all the way home. <laughs> oh, where is it? Oh, that's my... Ah, I'm doing dumb. I'm going to this, <laughs> the GPS mark on. It's okay. I promise you I'm a professional at something. Just probably not this. Alright, let's grab this stuff. We're going to immediately need to have the food and water. We don't have anywhere to sleep. Ah, oh, that was a... That really was a dumb on my part, wasn't it? That was, um... It's gonna... That's gonna leave... It's gonna leave a mark. It's gonna... Yeah. <laughs> oh, why did I do that to myself? It's fine. I'm not going to that Mado. I've already killed myself doing something stupid. I knew... I was just ranting about how they don't give you enough warning about being short and things and... Where has Sparky got to? Uh, don't worry, Sparky will join us eventually. She is just... She's just, um... Away on business right now. <laughs> oh. Sparky will always return up. Always there. Be the bane of my existence. Hey, look, there's a mining transport out there. I haven't decided how I'm going to go in this world yet. But, though I do know that we have everything with the Star Trek mods, the weapons on this are uh, a little bit crazy. They, um. They, uh. Yeah. They, they, they shoot from like five kilometers out. Like, I can't even see things from five kilometers out sometimes. It's fine. It'll be fine. I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine, right? 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 Probably not. <laughs> Alright, we're back here. I'm alive. Nothing bad happened. I don't know what you all are talking about. I do not appreciate these accusations of me dying from stupidity. That never, ever happens. Never. Um... In the meantime, is there a panel on the side of this? Why? Oh, that's right, there's no gravity either. Is there a panel on the side of this? I think there is. Yes, there is. So I can safely remove this. Alright. I'm gonna need to... Um... Hey, have a cosmic coffee. Uh, that... That did a little bit of sleep? Okay. That kind of makes sense, but we're still gonna have an issue with food. Have a clean cola. Still gonna have an issue with food. Um, we'll ignore the food issue because that's the way to do things. Um, stop painting everything into space. Oh, so my helmet's off. Um, what was I doing now? So I did that. I built. Oh, we probably don't have enough stuff to finish off here. We got to do more mining. It's the bane of existence. This is why I want to get the. I think I've already had this conversation. We haven't been a deja vu here pitch black and you can't see. Let me just grab all these rocks off. Left behind. You're annoying me. Yeah, let me through. I really should have put the pickup mod on, but hey, you know what? It happens. It happens. Inventory is full. This is the most... How many rocks are up there? What's it, like a secret stash? Um... I said go in there. Also, my hand is sore. Let's see. There we go. My mouse, my keyboard is off to a weird angle. <laughs> Everything is just off kilter a little bit today. Uh, you're not stuff. You're just weird little bumps on the asteroid. Okay. All this stuff. All right, let's go. All right, so once we get this done, we can get into the real nitty gritty. So. I don't know. I, I, I've got a bunch of... i got a couple of Star Trek ships I've built in Blueprints, but I kind of want to try build one fresh. And I'm thinking... Um, the first one... Excuse me, let me out. First one, I don't know what I should build. I'm thinking I should build... Should we build a... I think I might build like a little... Runabout-inspired ship. Um, 
we do the runabouts? Runabouts are pretty good. You can live on the runabouts. There's a little walkthrough. So I think we might do a runabout inspired ship for our first one. And then... Why does it sound like thunder? Not real life. Hmm. Right. Interesting. I don't want to know what is out there that's making thunder sounds. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely in the video game. It's not real life, so... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we want to build a runabout, I think, first. And... Should we build a space... I don't know if we should build a space station. I think I want to keep mobile for now. I don't know... Am I actually going to be able to build a runabout? I should be able to build a runabout, but I don't really... Uh, it's going to have to be a small grid, because... A, a large grid... Uh, it might really be a runabout then, is it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> full. Should I just go for a normal size ship? But then you can't move a normal size ship. You can just live off this thing and I have enough resources. Full. Maybe we should just build a small little outpost station. And then... I hate not having a gravity. Alright. How you going? Can you do that last? That's really not a high priority for me, they're steel plates. I can just salvage them from other things if need be. Alright, I'm stuck on something. Move! Okay, so we're gonna have to vent the ship into space for a minute. I think. Maybe? No, we won't? Okay, well we will once we grind that bit off. Um, let's grab... Yeah, I don't have enough small steel tubes in inventory. Well, luckily for me, that ain't really the priority for me. Okay, so if you're up like that, theoretically that should be... Actually, yeah, hold on. Alright, yeah, vent everything into space. Or not, it didn't vent everything into space? Excuse me, are you... Oh, that's right, these windows do weird things. Uh, I forgot about that. They're like airtight all the way around, and there's a vanilla window, so I don't know why, but you know what? We're not going to worry about it. We will just accept our small fortunes and move on. Okay. So all of that will be connected. We can now stick this drill on here, which we don't have enough components to build. Not even close. I didn't think I would, to be honest, but... You know, a small tiny bit for me hoped that I would. What else are we going to need? Oh, we're only going to need large steel tubes? That's our only issue? I like that. Um, production. Go away. Make these. I need... How many of those do we need? We need four. Uh, eleven, really. Um... Do you, does this thing have any? These hydrogen. You got twelve. Oh, sweet. I don't use the hydrogen engine. I just need to steal all the way. There we go. That's good enough. So that's probably disconnected the... No, the oxygen's connected there, but it would have disconnected the rest of the bits. It's fine. Um, it's fine. More important for me right now is to get um, this trill up and running. Alright, put this here, go here, block tools there. Doesn't really matter where I put it. And now... I can get way more iron or uh, stone than what I've gathered by hand this entire time that I've been playing. Alright. Alright, there we go. I really should have put a build info on, I forgot about it. It's fine. I'll put it on next time. Uh, so you've got like, look, look at all of this stone we had already gathered. Which is like, significant. We just, I think that was the, we gathered just as much stone as we had mined. Previously, because you can grab what 10 stone each time, and I think I've done at least five or six trips. So, yeah, there you go. All right, so what do I need to put this back together? Because unfortunately, I just need the steel tubes. Sweet, because unfortunately, we do actually. Oh, look at that, that worked out well, except during the basic assembly, which is over on this side, which I can't now access, except I can access it because I can go here. Yeah, there we go. I just want to. Yeah, apparently, we need this, it's like a key conveyor junction. There we go. Whew, progress. Now I need to build the refinery. All right, so refine, nope. Refinery. Don't know what that thing was. You know, like that, not enough steel plates and stuff for build things. All right, so we need 95 steel plates, motors, computers. 
Okay, so I think what I want to focus on first is the motors and that. Did, it, did I need the construction components? No, I didn't need the construction components. Okay. So we'll put those at the end of the list. Like that. Oh, excellent, excellent. Why are you making that? We don't need that. I want you to focus on that. Rude. I don't care how you make my damn steel plates. I just want my steel plates. Um, can we salvage steel plates from other places to maybe speed this along a little bit for now? I think I, I didn't want to take all of that, but that's fine. It's not like it's important. You don't really have much on you. Alright, how many more do we need? We need another 76 plus the monos and computers. That's fine. We're getting there. Uh, give me those. Give me those. Alright, now all we need is 40. Do we have like two large blocks I can just pinch? Or I've already pinched all the large blocks. I think I've already pinched all the large blocks. What have you got in here? You got 100? Can I just borrow that many? Thank you. God. I'm just like Frankensteining. I'm one short. Boo. There we go. Thank you. Now you, take all the stone and make it much quicker. <sighs> we live to fight another day. <laughs> Alright, what we need to do now is the ore detector and I think a couple solar panels. So, let's... Wait, can you build an ore detector? I don't... Yes, you can, can't you? Okay. Let's make that sound. Why are you doing that? Are you? We can't be running out of power. We're running on battery power, which means we should have. That's rude. The door just knocked me back. Um, we should have what? We got about an hour's worth of battery, which is fine. That's all we really need. All right, why are we here? Let's just grab a bit more of this. Some more building materials without smashing our face against the wall. There we go. Should just build like in a circular pattern motion, but whatever. We're just gonna dig holes into everything. I'm sure it'd be fine. Um Oh, that was stupid. Um Okay. Oh, ore detector. Steel plates, motors, computers, and detector components. It's fine. So we need just motors, computers, and detector components, because that'll make it work. Production, motors, computers, and detector components. In that order. Alright. And then... Survival kit, you're not making stuff anymore. Excellent, we don't need you to make any stuff. And the dog is now wanting to go outside, which is now ready to commence his cat mode, where he comes in and out, in and out, non-stop. So, let's let you go. Alright, off you go. Back to in a couple of minutes, and also we need food. Um, okay, well, we need food. Uh, the problem with that is I need small grid stuff too. Uh, let's go control two. Oh, that's what I was playing with before. I wanted to see what the consoles look, the Star Trek consoles look like. They, they're okay. Um, anyway, moving on. We need landing gear, we need just a small battery. And what's that stupid food thing here? Um, is there a basic like ration kit making thing on the large grids for the eat, drink, sleep thing? I can't remember. I've never been able to find it if there is. Um, what did I? What was I doing? I need to finish that ore detector off too. I need motors and computers. Uh, that. You really have an issue with the motors, aren't you? No, you got the motors. Did I grab the motors? You need one motor. Okay. That's why there's one motor sitting in there. Ugh. Goddamn gravity. Alright. There we go. Put that in there. Totally worth the hassle. Also, now I need you to build... One of those. One of those. And one of those. Um... But the main thing I need to build right now is this. Just go like that. Please don't float away. And then... 
let's go to level two. I've done this annoyingly. Need one more display. Come on, production, do the DMC display. Thank you. Alright. Put that up. Oh, you need four motors as well. God, why do you need motors? Build this. Stop with the light. Steel plates last. Steel plates are able to be gathered from anywhere. Alright. Yes, do that. Sweet. Yeah, do my battery. So I can get this. Also, I don't have any ice, I don't think. Do we have ice? We got like a small amount of ice. Give me like all of it. Okay. Um. Now, let's go control two. Give me a battery. Give me landing gear. Did I whatever grab me that? Right, don't touch it because I don't want it to float away. Bam. Then we put the battery just like here, and then put this like here. Okay. Okay. I want to access the control panel. I want to open the door. Because we are seconds away from dying. Actually, I don't know if enough will make it because I think the, the food thing takes a minute to grab. There we go. Perfect. No, don't knock me away. I need gravel. Alright. Where is the access point on this thing? That'll do. Um, you can have that and that. And then produce me some food, please. I think we'll make it. I think we're fine. I think we're good. I think we've got this. Okay, give me this. I need some iron ingots. Is that enough? Should be enough, right? Put that on in here as well. And that way we can make some of that. Water. And we are now going to survive and no death from water. I prefer not dying to water. And food. But I definitely push it. Now all we're going to do is something about the sleep issue. Uh, you eat that. Num 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 num. A very slow way of these rations, but... You know what? Gotta wait till I finish eating, apparently. These rations are slow, but you know what? They get us through. They tie us over. And that's what we need. I need a lot of rations, apparently. It only does 10% per ration pack. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm going to let all of that build and then we can eat all of that in a minute. So we've got our ore detector finished, we've got our refineries, our basic assemblers. Alright, I think it's time that we move on from this asteroid. Should we, I've already put a GPS marker in here, didn't I? That's a bit far away. Let's put... Uh, let's get rid of that one. I'm just going to put this new one here and name it our very first... Roid. Alright. I got nickel and gold here too. We should grab some of that. But I think the gold is like buried inside the asteroid, which is a little bit of a pain in the buttocks. Can how close can we get? Oh, I'm smack I didn't smack into anything. I'm not a bad pilot. I don't know what you're all talking about. There's no evidence. Moving on. Alright, we're just gonna have to dig a big ass hole this so it can fit the ship in just a little bit I just want to grab a bit of gold before we leave all right okay. that should be enough how much gold did we get uh, gold 14,000. That will tie us over for now and we'll grab some nickel. I think we'll head over to another asteroid to see if we can find some things like iron. Um, there's a nickel, it's up top. Alright. Uh, you be on the surface, be on the surface. Thank you! That's why this ship does not have much maneuverability once you start, you know, making it heavy. <laughs> Keep that in mind too. It's fine. 
That's right, you can't refine the gold anyway, but you can do the nickel. Alright. Okay. Now, so just before we leave, I'm just going to quickly... I can't for first roid. I'm just going to put gold slash nick. Just so I know that there's gold and nickel in here. Alright, so which asteroid do you think we should go to? Um, I'm thinking that one because it looks like it's the closest. So we're going to go there. See what she has. Actually, we'll, go, we'll stop by this unknown signal first and then we'll go there. The reason I keep stopping by these unknown signals is because I need things like um, algae paste or whatever it's called so I can make tofu. And tofu is better than no food. <laughs> it's better than rations, at the very least. Um, and I can make it in the kitchen, I think. Mean. And we can grow more tofu from... We can grow more aloe from tofu. You love watching the series? Thanks, Thomas. I love baking them. And John... Yeah. Yeah, it does look like a good one, doesn't it? Ah, I like, I like things. Hey Blackstar, how you going mate? Not much is going on. Alright, let's go. And I totally haven't died yet. Just started, I haven't died. It's a perfect run so far. There's no evidence to the contrary. And uh, anyone who says otherwise is, is a liar. Did I? Yeah I did. <laughs> For a second I thought I didn't grab the um, the Vietnam. I want to go to Vietnam one day. Ugh! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Don't text and drive. Do you think I can catch it? Oh no. I'm gonna try to catch it. I'm gonna try. Where are you going? It's fine. <laughs> Just gotta control Z. It seems to stabilize itself. Um, uh, Rainbow grinder. I have a hundred of those. I think you'd sell them on the Steam Marketplace, apparently, for like a cent. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Turbo's back. He wants to come back inside now. I told you he'd be back. He's going to be like a cat all day. He's going to be in and out, in and out. He likes to do this. I'll open the door for you in a sec, bud. I just need to... I will be there in a second, Turbo. He's bashing the door now. He's not happy. He doesn't like it when I close the door, but I have to close the door. Haven't died. Let's start a counter. No, that's not necessary. There's going to be no need for a counter. It's just going to be zero the whole time. I swear. I promise. I'm good at this stuff. I am amazing. Something that you can always trust is that I am amazing. Now, where did that really nice asteroid go? Where did you go? How did I lose a giant ass asteroid? Was it that one? No, that's where we came from. Was it... I've lost a giant asteroid. <laughs> that's the problem when you go chasing things. Okay, so we're coming from there. I think we're going to that one, won't we? Is it that one there we're going to? Um, it is now. I think it was. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it was this one. It was. I remember the red dot. There's a red dot on top on the tip of that thing. Okay, so we still need food and we still need sleep. So we should probably, I should build one of those little bunk bed things that they have in this game now. That could give us our sleep. Uh, and for the food, we got a bunch of rations being made, so I'm not too worried about that. What do we got here? We got platinum. Platinum's always good. And iron. Excellent. Two good resources right off the bat. It was a good choice. Yep, I think Jonathan was right. This is a good one. Okay, let's just go, okay, we go GPS. I, I know I can do this from the chat, I just keep forgetting to be honest. I only just remembered as soon as I opened it. Iron, and we go plant, that's how I remember things. Okay, let's grab some iron. There's that rock there. Uh, I should, oh, yeah, we got platinum. Okay, so I think we might try to start building some extra thrusters for this pod while we're here. Oh, don't have to hit it so hard, Smokey. I mean, it'll be fine with this. Yes, just insert my. Yes. Alright. Let's have a look. I just thought maybe I should put a piston on this drill. That doesn't seem like a terrible idea, does it? Putting a piston on the drill head? 
I'm sure that won't, that there's a rock somewhere above me. I'm sure that won't end terribly. Clang is much more cooperative these days as, as he gets up there in the years. He's becoming less and less um, evil. Well, why is the platinum never on the surface? I want you to be on the surface. Why are you inside the asteroid? Subgrids are always a great idea. See, I knew. I knew there was another one out here like me who agreed with these types of ideas. <gasps> oh, break! <sighs> yeah, we need to get more thrusters. <laughs> I also need to get a bit more careful with our fly, but listen. If you have more thrusters, you don't need to be more careful. Alright. That seems like a fair thing. I saw platinum on the on this side. It, all the platinum is buried on this asteroid. This asteroid's a tease. It's not gonna make my life easy. Stop moving! <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go here. Right. I'm just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to drill our way in. I'm sure I'm not gonna regret making this decision. I don't know where Turbo's gone. He's must be sitting right behind my chair. Uh, hey, is he back there? Oh, that's right. I didn't actually let him in. That was a mistake. Sorry, Turbo. Here you go. He's your good boy. Hey, you a good boy. You look like you're up to some mischief. All right, I'm sure the dog being up to mischief won't be an issue. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Blackstar. You you understand. You, you you get it. Hello, Turbo. Yes, I know. You want <laughs> you want more attention. It's fine. It's fine. I'm trying to I'm trying to dig a giant hole. This is not working out. This is not working out. I like the way I want. So you know what that means. Just because for the lols of it. I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to do the pistons, the piston on the drill head, it's just gonna have to be a thing, alright? Watch me like mine this thing right into an like a open hole that I could have just easily gotten to it from, every time, without fail. Uh, okay, let's go, let's do this, it'll be fine, it's always fine, see? Jonathan gets it. He knows. He understands. Everything's always fine. There's never any problems. Whatsoever. At all. Never. Look, like, I can't even refine this yet. I don't have a refinery for it, but... I want it. I needs it in my life. It needs to be in my hole. Put it in my cargo area. My rear cargo needs it. I need to put this junk in my trunk. I don't know. I'm gonna stop now. Um, what's out there that's red? Oh, the pirate mate, eh? You don't care about the pirate mate, eh? Why would anyone ever care about a pirate mate, eh? But, I mean, if it's a pirate ship, it might have loot. No, no, no. no. It's a trap. We all know it's a trap. But it might not be a trap. It's a trap, Smokey. 26k, that'll do. Alright, can I get out of here? Hey, I actually didn't do a bad job mining out that hole. All right. <gasps> That's all right. I didn't nearly hit a rock again. It's fine. It was just... It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You nearly hit a rock. I'm thinking we go... That asteroid I'm facing at right in front of me there. I think that might be a good asteroid. Also, I should probably... Get some food. Why are we doing this? I love it. when they set this thing up, say that you could just match speed. That was an amazing addiction. Ad addition? Ad not addiction. It's only a trap if you don't know it's a trap. Yes, and if you know it, that, and if you know it's a trap, then it becomes your trap, right? What if you hear me? Ah, oh, adding more drills. Doesn't that just seem a bit excessive, Blackstar? Like, come on, you don't want to be that guy in the universe with, like, drills. Like enough drills to do the job efficiently. You don't want to be that guy, right? That guy never. <laughs> that guy never has any. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, God, that's crazy talk. 
think we should get some. How do you match speed? Control Z. If you're looking at um, a ship, you got to be close to it. Uh, it. It's not exactly the most. Well, it, it's a bit. It, it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't work all the time. It will eventually work. It's just a bit finicky. But yeah, if you look at a ship and you press Control Z when you're close to it, uh, your character will match speed with it. It's automatically. You can also do it while in a ship. You can match this, your ship to another ship if you're sitting in a control seat. Um, it's good for pirating, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's Control Z. It's like an awkward button press too. But it works. It works well when it works. When it works well, when it works, it works well, and it works great. And then I think you can. I don't know how far it lasts. See, like it says auto dampeners auto. I might just head on it's off. Um, like it just it. it it just sticks speed, like, the, we're moving 46 meters a second, and I'm keeping up with it. Like, here, let me just disable it for a sec. See, it's flying away. Oh, crap, that was probably not a wise idea. Then you go up to it, press Control z There. Now I'm just... Match speed with it. Now I need to get back in this cockpit, because we're flying... We're hurtling towards an asteroid, and should not be... Floating about in space when that's happening. Though I did do the smart thing and set me on a course. Just slightly off kilter to it, but... You can't trust everything you see in this world. Sometimes, sometimes things like to hit you in the face. Also, this is taking longer. I need to build the bed. Um, stop pushing me back. It's very rude. I need gravity generator. Um, also need ice. Uh, what's the bed? Just give me the half bed. All right. Can you... do I have enough stuff? No, you can build it for me though. Alright, let's get back... let's get back to the cockpit. Alright. Did I put the ore mod that lets me make this larger? I did. It's obsolete now, there is plugins. I know, plugins. I don't know, I just have an aversion to plugins. I've had a bad experience with plugins before and... I don't know. Everyone has their own. Weird tediums and for me plugins are one of those things I just I just don't trust them. I don't know why I trust a mod, but I don't trust a plugin. Uh, previous experience. <laughs> uh, okay. Are we there yet? It's a pretty big asteroid. This one. It looks like a. Kind of looks like a dragon's face. Like he got the mouth. His mouth is open. He's got an ear up the top left and an ear up the top right that's cut off. And a nose on his forehead there. Just need some eyes somewhere. It's like kind of like a little divot above there. Is that not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is forever now known as Charizard Rock because it kind of actually reminds me of Charizard from Pokemon. Am I delusional? Does it not kind of look like a mouth and a dragon? No. Yes. I mean, come on. It clearly is. I'm, I'm naming it Dragon Rock, so. Like, it's gonna happen now. A drag on them. Dragon Rock, there we go. No? You can't, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just insane. It's not a giant dragon. Head? No? Okay. Oh, not a dragon head. Uh, what have we got? Aluminum? Why did I just speed up? Slow down. <laughs> We got aluminium or aluminum, depending on how you pronounce it, where are, wherever you are in the world. Um, anything else? I think the Star Trek mod pack, uh, whatever it is, has industrial overhaul in it as well, which is a mod I have not really ever played with, so that's going to be interesting for me. I think it just adds m more steps to building things. I see Bowser so close. Yeah, Bowser, that's... Yeah, actually, you know what? I think it does... But Bowser and Charizard, if you think about it, do look very similar. They're just... Yeah. Uh, why is all the asteroids buried? Aluminum. Try that one with focus. <laughs> Man. Trying to pronounce things correctly for people. I just... I can't. I just I, I give up on it. I, I I just admit that I can't pronounce things the right way, and 
and then annoy everybody by just pronouncing it completely wrong. I feel like that's the best way. If you can't please everyone, annoy everyone. Because it's a lot easier to annoy everyone than it is to please everyone. There we go. Bed. Okay, sweet. We got that taken care of. Alright, awesome. Now let's just do the stupid food. Because I thought putting the eat sleep mod on. Oh, we got chips. Can I eat the chips? No, oh, I can't eat the chips. It's lies, chips. It lies to me! It is not chips. It is full chips. By the way, did you know Pringles aren't made out of potato? Fun fact. Um, well, they never, they weren't. I don't know if they are now. It might be an old fact. An old, not so true anymore fact. I'm not sure. I haven't looked for a long time. Alright. Let's see. How far down was this aluminum? I don't know why I got out of the ship for this. I have a bloody ore detector. I also gotta keep in mind not to smack the, um, I can't smack the food production thingy that I have on the side. They're 38 meters away. Why? Let's just dig our giant hole. I didn't hit the butt there. That wasn't me smacking my butt on the ground. I told on ya. It's fine. Ooh, that's a bit closer than I thought that was going to be. Um, it's fine. Uh, let's go. We need some aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminum. Uh, let's get that. That's the new name for it now. Are you my numb? There you go. That should equally annoy everybody. And then I have successfully done what I set out to do. I don't even know how much aluminum I need. I don't know how much I'm going to get. Uh, whatever you got. The numb there. 20, 15k of aluminum. That should be enough, right? Sorry, we can always come back. Just like to get a little bit. Do you see what I see? You you see this right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> oh, that was just a dumb thing. All right, Dragon Rock has aluminum on it. Let's just. Oh, I don't care about the unknown signal. Apparently this dragon's name now is Alu. Okay, so we want to... Let's head to that rock to our south. South even a thing? Our... What's the uh, what's the nautical term for the bottom of your ship? The keel? Or is that just the name of the bottom of your ship? Like, I know port is left, starboard is right. And then you have a stern, which is your rear, and the bow is the front. So, like, dorsal is the, north, the top of your ship? I've done that mess so many times. Yeah. It's every time. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a ship person. I don't know sailing terms. All I know is the way I remember from your port from your starboard is you go, a pirate likes to say there's no port left on the ship, which means there's no port, port is your left port. Yeah. That's. That's the stupid way I remember things. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, so... What else are we going to need? Uh, we got that. We got... But technically, we got everything done. Technically, we are surviving now. We have conquered this game. Um, I need solar panels. Okay, here... No, I just want to go here. Production. Let's just do basic assembler. I don't know what I need for solar panels. I think it's like 32 or 32 a thing. I probably need a few girders, a few computers. That, I could just check. Solar? No, I need solar. Girders, computers, construction components, and bulletproof glass. But is that for the small grid one? Oh, that's for the large red one? Wow, oh, okay. The large red one is super cheap. Um, uh, construction components. Oh, that's sh on the steel plates. That should do the trick. Good as okay, construction. Yeah, okay. That should be perfectly fine. 
I remember because port and left have the same number of letters. Oh, that's a good way of doing it, too. Yeah. Except that requires math. Nobody likes math. <laughs> um, oh, is that... That thruster is, like, dangerously close to that, that I'm going to have to check it. I I think it might be fine. Though the battery is now red. That just might be red. We got duranium. Aluminum and duranium. Um, also the textures for these asteroids aren't loading in properly. It's fine. We just ignore that. Okay, so L U no, GPS. L U sla oh, I don't know if it's gonna let me Duran because I can't pronounce the spell the word. It was just that was just uranium with a D on it, so yeah. We don't need aluminum, but we'll grab some of the duranium because why the hell not? Not much, just little bits of each, because I have no idea how much I need or how effective it is. For all I know, uranium might return at a resource rate of iron, or it might return at a resource rate of uranium. So it has the same number. It has the same. It has uranium in the word, so. I'm just going to assume it's going to have a terrible resource rate, but I'm still only going to grab a little bit of it. Though I think you use this for uh, armor, so maybe it'll be a lot higher. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. Alright. Let's go. Perfect. That's enough. That should do plenty for us. Alright, let's do here, inventory. How much did we get? 24k? Gave us a lot, so... Maybe? That's not Dragon Rock, is it? That might be Dragon Rock. Um, let's go to that asteroid. Right here, this one. I think this is the next one we're going for. What I'm looking for is just a bit of every basic resource to get started. Okay, because we need... We are moving a bit too fast. We need iron. We got iron. We got nickel. Though we're getting pretty far away from iron and platinum. I mean, the worst comes to worst, we just use stone, right? So I really don't need. To. Okay, so we might do this asteroid. We'll go have a look at the one on the left, and then if I can find it again, we'll go for that one in between the two, just up near the planet there. And then I think we'll move over to. Uh, upgrading the ship because I don't want to spend too much time just floating from asteroid to asteroid as that can get tedious. <sighs> Though I did check before I started playing, uh, I checked last night when I was setting this world up, I did check that there was enough, uh, all the ores do, do spawn, they're just a bit difficult. There's cobalt and uranium. They're just a bit awkward to find, in that well, the Star Trek um, mod adds a... I don't know if it's the Star Trek... I think it's the Star Trek mod and Industrial Overhaul add a whole bunch of other resources, so it just it makes other resources a bit more difficult to find. Alright. Cobalt. I mean, are you? Please don't make me dig a hole just to find you on the surface again. Uh, I can be very careful now, because the ship is now very fat. Ate too much spaghetti and now it's sluggish. I feel like this is on the surface. Yes, it is. Okay, sweet. So we just grab a quick little bit of cobalt, make ourselves happy. Get out, Robert. This one is solo ish. So if you wanted to play, you can play. But it's Star Trek themed. Alright, you have to build Star Trek themed stuff. You don't have to. <laughs> there. Um, let's get inventory. Did I, how much cobalt did I just grab? 33k, that's enough to begin with. Alright. Where's those little asteroids? Okay, they're there. Now we wanted to go to that asteroid over on our left, which has a big bowl. Oh, I know that asteroid. I don't obviously know that asteroid itself, but... That design asteroid, I have actually built a base in this before. In that big bowl, there's a, there's a one of the series on my YouTube 
you know, one of the many ones that just kind of end because I get stuck busy with life. Don't worry about it. I built like a whole little base inside that asteroid. It had this big massive industrial area on this sticking out the side and had a turret around it. it was fun. Also there's like a green and gold thing on that little asteroid. I got distracted. I've been distracted. I saw a shiny. So we'll go check out this shiny and then we'll go check out the asteroid I used to have a base on. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. What's that? It's just another Mayday. Yeah, we don't care about the Maydays. I just want to know what this green thing is. Oh. Okay. Green boy, I want you. I want to see what the green thing is too. Also, it looks like there's like a white dot up there as well on the edge of it. Alright, we should probably, yeah. Uh, just gotta lay off the thrusters for a bit because I don't want to go flying into this asteroid at like mox, ridiculously high mock speeds. Also, we haven't found ice. Uh, what have we got? Aluminum, 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 aluminum. Um, I'm sorry, I apologize. I won't do that again. Um, and tritanium. Titanium and I, that word that I refuse to pronounce ever again. Is that what this is? is yes. Titanium is indeed some weird green blob. Alright. Uh, I gotta remember. I gotta keep doing it this No, okay, I'm buggering up. I gotta keep doing it this way just so I remember to do it this way. Keep doing the whole going back to the main menu and pressing K, going to the GPS thing. Hey, there's a pirate freighter out there, except I don't have any guns on my ship. Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's just grab a bit of this. And. Okay, that should be enough, alright? I don't even know how much that is. Probably not. Like, I'm probably getting, like, enough to build half a component. Uh, let's have a look. No. 13k? Is 13k enough? I think 13k is a little bit low. We should just grab this much. Okay. Now, let's go to the asteroid that I built a base on, that one there to our left. And then I think we'll have a look and then what's on here, and then we'll just do some upgrades to the ship because I am becoming very sluggish like that thruster, like one single thruster left and right, that's not enough, we got one up and down, we got two brake thrusters which aren't doing too bad and we've only got like one oh we got two going up, okay that's interesting I don't know why you have two going up and only one going down but whatever it's a spaceship, you need kind of even numbers of thrusters at least you'd think you'd have even numbers of thrusters, All right? Oh, look, a civilian looking mayday. I'm sure that's not a trap. I'm sorry, I'm not in a position to help. I have not been, I am not a member of Starfleet. It's not my duty to rescue all ships, ships stranded and respond to maydays. Um, it is my duty to float around space gathering up resources to build things and stuff. Actually, this might not be the same asteroid I built on. This looks, uh, maybe it is. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. There doesn't appear to be anything on this asteroid. Oh no, there's Tritanium. Okay. I'm only gonna mark this one so I don't come back to it. We already got Tritanium. We don't have to sit here. I know I said we we're gonna fix the ship, but I was hoping there'd be, like, something to build with. Um. So, where, what, what path have we taken? Drawing. The iron is up there. Alright, I know we said we're going to build here, but like... I want to go check this asteroid out, and then we'll build. I promise that this will be enough. I, um... Yeah. This is why I can't gamble. Because <laughs> I'm like, just one more, just one more. Alright, um... Don't gamble. Let's have a look. Inventory. Let's drink some water. 
What else have we got to do? Food is a bit low as well. So we're drinking some of this disgusting emergency rations like some peasant. Star Trek does not does appear to have more thrust on the bottom for planetary reasons. No, this, this is a vanilla ship. This is just the way that they do it. I haven't put a... I didn't spawn in a Star Trek ship. I was going to, but I kind of wanted to build up to it. But, and also it's iron thrusters, Robert. Iron thrusters don't work in atmosphere. Alright, stop trying to apply logic to things. God! <laughs> Star Trek, Star Trek doesn't use thrusters. It was only in recent shows that they started actually paying attention to the physics of space and adding thrusters to ship. Before that, no ships had thrusters other than the forward and go, <laughs> and they just they just move sideways on their own. All right, it was not meant to be questioned. Probably wrong about that. I'm usually in. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go. Let's just put a little bit more thrust. So I'm thinking we might get rid of these ramps on the back, uh, but then the thrusters will stick out. Eh, screw it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to tear down the ship a bit. That's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. So, what do you think? Do we think we should build a state a uh, base first, guys, or should we build a ship? Genuine question. I don't know. Um, I kind of. Uh, the ship definitely needs a piston drill. Oh my god, it absolutely needs a, a piston drill. Um, should I just... I, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't even joke about that. Clang will kill me. But I'm going to anyway. I was going to say, maybe we should put a rotor on it so we can spin the piston drill. I'm sure that wouldn't cause any problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's killing me. Clang is, Clang is attacking me in real life. Alright, this asteroid is going to be our home for a bit while we build stuff. Also, I keep forgetting to put the solar panels on. How much time do we have? 14 minutes of thrust. Okay, that's not good. 5 minutes cruising, but don't forget we're also going to use a lot of um, power. Oh, we got aluminum. Oh, God, this stuff is everywhere. How many bloody cans of coke do does the, ga does the game think I'm going to want to make? I'm still just going to stop you. I said I was going to stop you. I'm going to be... I'm going to be a person of my word and I'll wait here. Add a hinge for good measure. Oh my god. A rotor hinge with a merge block between the hinge and the rotor. That, and then a piston. I don't know why we say these things. Um, I'll put my helmet off. Uh, what do I need to build? I need to put these damn solar panels on before I forget. Alright, so... Solar panel. What are we thinking? We're thinking we're just going to slap you in here. I think we're just going to slap you next to these containers. I'm sure that'll be... Oh, well, we can't because I can't make it symmetrical because I did that. Symmetrical? That's not a real word, Smokey. What we can do is we can grab this and this and also change that color to that. And then what we might do is get rid of this because I don't need that. And then we'll put this here like that and then we can put the solar panel there and then we can put the other solar panel this annoys me sometimes it wants to snap to that edge fine we'll do that you can't beat me you're not gonna beat me i am smarter than you are little thing <laughs> i'm sure that uh, excellent pronunciation of words reassures my intelligence over the little thing. Alright, the whole panel's done. I should probably actually weld this block up. Um, just for extra security reasons, safety. Almost. No, we can't weld that one up, don't worry about it, it's fine. Alright, so, first things first, I think we actually need to build a real assembler to build the thruster stuff. Uh, I gotta build the piston, because that is now a requirement by law. Alright, put that here, sure. And then we're gonna go with a drill, because I'm gonna need to replace that drill as well. Put that there. Piston, you craft me up one of those, you craft me up an assembler. 
I'm going to just scratch my nose for a sec. There we go. Alright, let's make sure this thing is empty before we do it. It's not empty. Damn it, we need more cargo. My nose is itchy. Um. No, we, no way we use all the cargo, right? Oh, we did! Ah, oh, that makes sense. We did do a very bit of mining. Um. Alright, now we need to build a cargo container. It's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. It's not like you're ruining my plans and my life goals and my ambitions or anything. It's not like I'm trying to do something amazing for the greater good of things. Okay, let's just do that. We're gonna slap the cargo container. The second one right there. Um, I don't have enough stuff to build it, I don't think. I'd be surprised if I did. I don't have the metal grids, which is actually going to be an issue because we need the assembler to do that. Can we build the assembler? Give. You need metal grids for an assembler? Wait, you can build. Yeah, then you have to be able to build metal grids. Um, yeah, you can. Okay, sweet. What are you waiting on? Iron? Hey, do iron. Bad. Bad at refinery. Not doing what we need. Alright. So, piston there because we're insane. Um, you know what? I think <laughs> just to limit the insane ability of this. All right, guys, just just a little bit. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take these two out, and I'm gonna put the piston here. Um, just because I don't want. I just I want to keep it compact. I don't like sticking out too far. Although, with that said. What we might also do is we might make a second piston. That's right, we'll get two pistons. And we'll put that one here in this section. And then we can put another drill on it here. So we can have dual drill piston extension. I'm sure that won't end terribly, right? Right? It'll be fine? Yeah, it'll be fine. See, I knew you guys were with me. Everyone always agrees. My ideas aren't insane, they're fine. See? Jonathan agrees. And he is always correct. Alright? Always. He's never wrong. Unless he's married. But we don't talk about those times. Um <laughs> What was I doing? <laughs> okay, so we need the assembler. I think I'm trying to build an assembler right now. But why am I trying to build an assembler? I for thruster components. Damn it, I don't have build info on it and I can't see. <laughs> I can't tell. <sighs> I can't tell if I uh, need stuff. Good night, don't die. Bother you go, I'll bug you tomorrow. Okay, Robert, have a good one. We'll speak tomorrow. And I can't promise about the not dying part. You know this. It's unnecessary expectations for me. I feel like he shouldn't know that. Okay, we do that. I think we'll slap this guy down here. Like so. Uh, okay, we do that there, and then, I don't know what we're going to do, um, can I build the assembly yet, can I, what are we missing, motors, metal displays, metal grids and computers, what are you, okay, you're doing motors, displays, metal grids and computers, okay, we're doing that, okay, sweet, we just got to be patient now. I don't like being patient. While we're doing that, we can try and design the rest of these thrusters. So, I think we're going to get rid of this. I think I'm used to using an elite drill, because that's what I've been using, so I'm not used to having to hold down the grinder. That's fine. Alright, we can go there. Let's go thrusters. I apparently just pressed the screenshot button. That's fine. Um, I'm going to use the same boring old school thrusters, just because... Just to try to keep some sort of level of the sameness. Alright, so we can put like one there. I think we might take this bottom one out too and we'll put another one under the bottom there. So we're going to need... That'll cover those four bases. So we'll have three on each... Three thrusters each side. That should definitely help. Uh, with the smacking into side of asteroids and crashing. Which I've never done. I have never crashed. I am a good pilot. I know my limitations and I stick to them sometimes. Uh, okay, so do that. Now we're probably going to want. Should we? Yeah, I'm going to want a bit more braking thrust. So what we're going to do is we'll get rid of this. 
And we're going to slap a braking thruster here, if I can press the right hotkey button, like that. Okay. Another one there. That'll look good. Well, look good. It'll... Oh, crap. What's the damage range of these things? Is it two or three blocks? I can't... I can never remember. How are you? You're, you're not taking any damage. Hey, you're out of power. Which... Did you get much done? You made 15 lashings. Okay, that's good. That'll tie me over for a little bit. Um... That might not work. Wait, no, hold on. Wait, I'm confused. I... Uh, that's on the other side. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, so it's... Two blocks. Is it th two or three blocks? I can't remember. Ugh, my back is sore. Um, it'll be fine. It won't be fine. We're just gonna ignore that for now. I'll come back to that problem in a minute. Right, where did I slap the assembler? Oh, on the bottom. Right. Now we just need the metal grids. Okay, production. You're lacking cobalt. That's okay. We actually have cobalt. Um, refinery. Uh, take away your nick. Oh, great. We're gonna have to play this game. Um, crap. That's actually very annoying. Oh, I got one in. Sweet. <laughs> Excellent. Alright, now we do need. Come on, production. What are you doing? I gave you the, I gave you, I gave you the cobalt you need. There you go. You're just very slow at taking it. Is that what's happening? Uh, refinery. No, you're taking it as quick as it's making it. It's just very slow at making it. I understand. I understand. I understand. You're evil. You don't want to be friends. Just gotta patiently wait. Alright, so we got that, we got that. I may... I'm just gonna move these thrusters out. I'm don't, pretty sure that that's just gonna be a terrible life choice if I leave them there. Because I will forget that I... about them burning those connectors off and I don't want to run that risk. Energy low. Okay, so we got that done. What we might do is... Here, I'm gonna get rid of this block. Alright, and then we can slap a down, more downward thrust because that's what we need. Uh, upward thrust, rather. Because that's what we need. We don't need downward thrust, we need upward thrust, alright? So there, there'll be four thrusters pushing up, and now... I guess, I guess, we should probably do something about the upward thrusters, alright? Alright, so... What are we going to do about the upward thrust? Where are we going to put this so that it fits my design philosophy? Um, uh, I don't really want it to stick above. I don't want it to. You know what? We can just... Here. Oh, God. Grind. Okay. What we can do is we can just get these. Large grid, small ones, three blocks, large five. Okay. So yes, I made the right call moving them over then. Thank you for that, Jonathan. I'll have to write, keep that in mind. Uh, Alright. Let's go like this. Uh, that. Okay, that'll give me three down. I mean, I got four up, but you know what? It, it'll be fine. None of them are welded anyway. They're just decorative at this point while I try to store for time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Alright, let's just... Grab me that, and then do you have to give me player inventory? Okay, all of that there. Can I just where is there? Let me go with that. Do you have enough from the cargo container? Not enough displays, but I don't need displays. Excellent. Energy critical. Okay, that should free up some space for us to um get that drill ground down. Let's see if we finally weld this thing up. Take it forever. Okay, did you automatically steal the stuff out of the drill? 
Okay, the stuff out of the drill has been taken out of the drill. That's excellent. There's no more drill things. Also, we need energy. Alright. This asteroid is useless to us. Um, it's going to be so many aluminum asteroids. Aluminium. It's the one word that no one in the world can agree on how to pronounce. And it's the one item that it gives me a lot of. Alright. So... Let's have a look. I'm just trying to see if there's like a nice looking asteroid we can go visit while we wait. Uh, I guess that asteroid there on our left looks all spiky and interesting. Alright, that's how you determine whether something has good resources on it. So when we come across... Oh, what if we come across? Ice! Ice is something I need. Ice is actually something I do need. So, I'm going to fly towards this, and as I fly towards this, sometimes if you look at, you can see asteroids that have like a little blue tinge to it, like, okay, that little one on the bottom left there, well, not bottom left, just above my inventory thing on the left, it's above the planet, that's got like a blue tinge to it. Sometimes, sometimes, that can indicate that it's like a, what I call an asteroid, an ice toroid, because it's just an asteroid that's all ice. And then, more often than not, it's just a weird color effect on the monitor. <laughs> uh, but there are pure a asteroids out there made out of pure ice. And I've come across them a fair few times. They're amazing. They make life so much simpler. I should probably go to that one, shouldn't I? I'm going to go to it. I doubt this is going to be what I need. It's kind of turning more grayish instead of blue. Is that one kind of blue? See, this is what I mean. Everything kind of looks bluish to me. Alright, screw it. We're gonna go here. That's great, right? It's also kind of blue. I don't know. <laughs> I think... I think I can't make really good decisions right now. I think I just need to make one decision and stick to it instead of bouncing it around like a chihuahua with uh, ADD. Oh, that kind of looks blue. It's hard to tell. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's always fine. There's nothing to worry about, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be fine. We'll have plenty of ice. We'll live very comfortable lives. And everything will be all hunky-dory. And... Yeah. What can I say? I don't know. Alright, so... While we're waiting, we might as well tell the thruster... To the thruster, the assembler, to build us not large. Can I here? You just iron thrusters? Give me make make us ten of those. Um that you're not gonna be able to because I haven't got a large refinery because you need a large refinery to refine platinum. I only wish to start playing SE. You haven't seen an ice storage yet? Well, hopefully we can find one for you. I don't think this is one. Um, but yeah, they're just asteroids that are just, instead of rock, they're ice. They're great for ice resources, especially if you're playing like a hydrogen playthrough. Which I haven't done that for years. Actually, I don't think I've done that since ice, to ice toroids have been in. It's a hard word to actually pronounce. I really wish I didn't come up with that name. I mean, I'm sure I'm the first one to come up with a name. I'm sure no one else has ever called them that. Hey, gold. I like gold. I think I already know where gold is. Um, no, I want to go enter. I want to go slash GPS gold. Because apparently that's all you have on this asteroid. Because it's just an asteroid. Ooh. No. They do exist. I promise you. I'm just probably not going to find one today. Um, is this the spiky asteroid I was going to? It was above a planet. But I've moved, so... Who knows? Who knows? Alright, so what did we decide? Should we build a small outpost space first, just so we can get like a large refinery down? Something is burning something. You're not finally hitting that, are you? I checked it before, you weren't doing damage to it. What 
think he's hitting anything. I don't know why you're flipping out like that. Why are you making so much smoke? It's definitely the brakes I stuff. Are you hitting that now? Are you all of a sudden just decided, hey, wait a minute, I just vented the whole ship to this atmosphere. Are you... you done? No, you're not doing damage to it. Okay, you're just being... You're just being... Oh, I've vented the ship to space again. I don't have the oxygen to be doing that. Um, it'll be fine. It's fine. It's all fine. A uh, good idea for a small outpost. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because, uh, uh, like, even if I was to build a ship, I definitely would need a, light, a refinery on it, and I would need a large refinery, and the large refinery is large. Like, you just have it sitting on the outside. I think I think we're going to go for a small outpost. Probably on the asteroid, just to my left, like, Five degrees, maybe. Yeah, screw it, let's go to this asteroid. <laughs> I feel like that's like a saying that's gonna be in this year, screw it, let's go to this asteroid. It's just just one more asteroid, right? Just one more, it's like sp civil space, um, not space, what I was talking about? Civilization, the game, so it's one more turn. Just, just one more turn. So many asteroids. That planet looks like death. Uh, that planet has a ring around it. So it looks cool. I can't remember what planets I put on. I used the, um, there's a star system generator and I put like 10 planets on. Or something. Actually, it might have been more. Hey, I can show you. Because they gave me all the. See? You got Valcor, Triton, Tranquility. That's actually a nebula that I meant to put around Tranquility, but it didn't. You just put it randomly because I did it wrong. You got Titan, which is a moon around Tranquility. Reich 117, Polvis, Pertum, Orbitus, the moon, Mars, Kandingi, Hello, Helios, Helgen, GLaDOS 5, Europa, Europa as a moon, Earth like, and the alien planet. So we got a few planets to visit in this world um, when we get around to it. And hopefully. Hopefully we can survive long enough to visit all of them. Hopefully the world survives long enough. More often than not, I find that the worlds just get too big and then the game doesn't want to load the save properly anymore. Or something in the world breaks. Um, well, hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Hopefully we're all good to go. And everything is all nice and easy and happy. I think that'd be good. Alright. We're going to build on this asteroid. I'm calling it now. I don't care what's on this asteroid. I don't care if it's got good resources or bad resources or no resources. This asteroid is going to become our first outpost base. And I'm not going to build it in the asteroid. I'm building on the surface. Is that building on the surface a smart idea? No, not really. <laughs> um, but it's the idea that I'm going to do because I'm tired of building underground. I just am. I'm sorry, I am. Underground is great for protection. It's got dilithium on it. It's okay. Eh. And aluminum. That aluminium stuff, man. I get it. The system has plenty of aluminium in it. Probably the whole planets. The cores of the planets aren't make up, made up out of iron. They're made out of aluminium, I'm going to guess. Aluminium. Alum. I. Num. Alright. Hello, home asteroid. I'm thinking I want to build a little outpost. Is this big enough? Look at that. The other thing is gold. That's cool. I think we'll build an asteroid base. Um, should we build it here? We'll give it a. We'll, we'll do a mix, alright? We'll build it on the atmosphere. One of the world saves I have in the solar system spans about 8 million kilometers. Yeah. I don't think the, um... I think my problem with my world is, is more just the amount of mods and there's like a conflict or something. I don't know what happens to it. My worlds just seem to get corrupted sometimes. Not all the time, mind you. Like, I've got like 20 worlds that are fine and then there'll be like one that is bad. It just gets broken. I think it's just a space engineers thing and I just happen to get bad luck with it sometimes but it's fine we're gonna build it in this little crevice here 
So it's kind of like a mix of building on the outside and the open. We even get like sunlight, which kind of actually looks like it will go over the top of us and go down. So it's like when you're facing west, I guess. If it were, there was to be a direction in space, this would be west-ish because it's going slightly down. So yeah, this is our home. Um, I hope you enjoy it. We will be... I need gravity. Um, yeah. We're going to build right in this crevice. We're not going to dig into the side or anything like that. Oh, we might dig in a little bit just to like make rooms and stuff. But like the majority of it is going to be out here in the open. And that is my decision. And my decision is by no means final. It's just the way this that's where this base is going to go. Alright. Well... I think what we should do... So I should tell it to make a bunch of those and give me whatever plates that we have in there and I can start designing this thing. Um, let's go from... Let's do... What was the asteroid? Okay, the asteroid wants to go that way so we are not going to follow the asteroid. Build path. I want to go... Uh, no, kind of like that. This is how I line things up in my worlds. I just kind of guess. It's all guesswork. So there we go. Nope. I, hmm. The mouse wheel. I think it's a control spot. No, that only works in creative. Okay. No. Oh. All right. Just to get an idea of our floor. So basically, that's going to be the ground level of our base. Alright. Now, the good thing about doing it like this is we've got that bit of a gap underneath. Like here. Which is good, because that'll allow us to build um, uh, a nice uh, conveyor junction system that's not overly exposed unnecessarily. I mean, I'll still have exposed conveyor junctions just because I like the look of it, but we'll have the actual functional stuff down the bottom here. I've had that happen to me, sad, but yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just do it your best. Okay. So, I'm thinking... How I'm probably going to want to set this up is I'm going to want to have cargo and refinery and production kind of at the back of the base, just because they're important. That being said, I'll probably get attacked from above the base, whatever we decided was the top of a ship. Was it dorsal? I can't remember. Um, yeah, but the front will be just living quarters and things, mostly decorative RP type stuff. And then we'll put all the refineries and production and living and stuff like that as far back into the base as possible without putting it in the asteroid. Because like I said, I don't really want to build an underground base anymore. At least not in this world. Um, I want to keep it kind of above ground as much as possible. Which means... Yeah, we just have to be a bit more thoughtful about where we place our buildings. Alright, our important buildings. Especially if we have things like uh, cargo containers filled with uh, <laughs> filled with ammo, because they explode now and uh, they do a bit of damage. And that is, whilst looks awesome and is quite, it is a bit fun. Let's be honest, but it also is not fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, can I just say the build snap to grid option in, in this game, local grid alignment place mode is awesome for like filling in those tiny little gaps that are awkward to place things in. Also, I really definitely need a gravity generator. I just walked up the side. I hate not having gravity because you do this and it just... It, eh, it's annoying. <laughs> Alright. I do want to place that there, but it's fine. I don't mind cutting away a bit of the asteroid. Like, I'll probably cut like this asteroid a bit away here to make room. And maybe even like this bit. So I'll probably have a little bit, bit technically buried. I'll probably put the cargo under there if I'm to be honest with you. But, yeah. No, no. No, no deep. No deep building stuff. Alright. But for now, everything's going to be exposed. Because that's just the way things are. Alright. So that's going to be a wall there. Can we just do this so it helps me 
plan building stuff. Alright, and then we'll probably come back to... I think here we'll be in another wall. Alright. Okay. So that'll all that chunk of concrete... Uh, Rock will come out, and we'll probably take out all this junk here back to that spot. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the way we're going to do it. So I'm thinking in this corner here, uh, character tools is we're going to chuck a refinery. I I swear this tool is the most destructive tool in the world because it's like you get anywhere near these blocks here, it's going to blow them up. Um, it's just a fact of what. Okay, fine. I'll use my jetpack. It's going to happen at some point by doing this, and it probably will happen sooner rather than later. It's just the way things work. It'll be fine though. It's just a little bit of steel plate. It's not like it's that important. It's not that hard to get. Alright. Okay. That should be enough. I'm pretty sure you can build refineries into rock faces, so we don't need to perfectly clear it all out. We do have to leave a gap so we can get the, um, I've wrecked a bunch of things with the drill in the Elite Grinder that I didn't mean. Oh, yeah. Especially the Elite Grinder. The Elite Grinder is dangerous. Um, yeah, we don't have to, to worry about getting rid of all of the rock because we can just place the the, the the refinery on top of it it'll be fine um let's just oh let's just do this there you go knew what happened eventually um i should probably weld all of this all these um blocks up because i do want to make this airtight as well all right like it, it's, it wouldn't be a star trek base without making it airtight does the the shield mod used to have like a thing where you can make your shield airtight, but unless you had a very small shield, um, it just it wasn't really it didn't work that well. Unless, I'm gonna be honest, it worked great with a small shield though. Just the large, it's gonna, you're gonna blow this up. I'm just gonna get rid of you. No. <sighs> he still blew everything else up. <laughs> Most destructive tool in the game. Anyway. Can I... What are you doing? That was weird. Um, you double click and it stays on, I know that, but it was just, I don't know, it's being weird. Yeah, I think I should probably weld these up, because I won't be able to get to them, and if I want to make the base airtight, that will be a bit of an issue later. Which kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. I mean, do it, uh, yeah, no, did I have, I don't think I'm using Bob, I think I was going to use the AI hoppers. Right. Did I put Bob on? That will determine if I made that decision. I did not put Bob on. Okay. I'll do this. Boom, boom, boom. I think... I think I want to put a conveyor there. Because we're going to connect these underneath, which means I will have to dig a tunnel for the conveyor tubes, but... You know, you can't get everything my way. Um, i got to put that piston drill on, because that is an important part of it. There was something I said I'd do, so I have to do it. I also kind of want to do it, so... Oh, wait, no, hold on. Where's the refinery? Okay, like this. Actually, yeah, no, I want there to be a gap on the side anyway. Oh, God, i got too much crap on my inventory. Um, you're upside down now, right? Yeah. So where's the connector on this? There's no connector on the bottom of this? Interesting. There's a connector on the bottom of the normal refinery in there. Oh yeah, the normal one does. It's just the the new one doesn't. I don't know why they wouldn't put one there. They could have. Anyway, all right. Well, you do you, I guess. You're pointless. You can just be floor. All right. So we'll put you. I still want there to be um, a gap so I can walk around it and repair like the yield modules I'm eventually going to put on this thing. All right. So we'll put that there. And then we'll put another one next to it. Then we'll, we'll just have two. I think two would be more than enough for our needs for now. So I just got to build these four steel plates. How much do I have? 52. I have enough to build two of them up, but I want to build four of them up. Um, my withdrawal, not an insufficient. 
space. Was it insufficient space or was it not enough plates? Like you can't do both ways. All right. Energy low. Oh yes, I know my energy is low. Thank you for warning me at twenty four percent instead of warning me at zero percent. Though that being said, it probably will warn me again. It won't. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> We all know what Space Engineers is like. Alright, let's do that. Okay, and then we might as well put two next to each other. And then... For the assembler, let's go with... Should we go with the industrial assembler? I think we will. Um, go for an industrial assembler. And we're just gonna connect it up. So... We do that. I'll have a walkway under that roof, but we won't be able to put the module up there. That's fine. It's fine. We don't need all the modules, all right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Can I also put a light down? Because it is pitch black and I can't see crap. Also, I could put a light down, but it ain't gonna matter because there's no um power on this grid right now. But. Uh, I don't want those lights. Where's the other modded lights? I love these lights. Okay, give me your good little work light. You can go there. Uh, you're not gonna work. I don't have the small steel tubes. It's fine. Alright. Uh, battery. Let's make a battery. Alright. Energy critical. Build a battery. Yeah, let's fix that energy problem up before it murders us, murders us like before. I mean, it didn't kill us before, that I haven't died before. We all know this. Let's put that there like so. Okay. Oh! Big stretch. Big stretch. And... That should be enough power. Okay. Alright, now we need to do this. Yeah, if you did you build the things that I need? Let's just dump everything off. Not enough steel plate, not enough power cell. Well, I told you to build it. What's your issues? Not enough iron. Okay. Control panel, inventory. Refinery. You need to make iron for me now. There we go. Perfect. That'll be perfect. And now what we can do is put I made a shortcut to getting power in this base. Oh, that shouldn't matter. I was gonna say we could put a connector on and then um, connect the the shuttle pod thing that we have here. The survival pod to it, but I think we'll be fine like this. Though we do have to connect the vehicle up at some point anyway. Alright, let's do that. And while we wait... Let's do the dumb thing. The dumb fun thing, let's do it. I said I'd do it. I'll do it. Alright, uh, piston. Give me this. Alright, let's put that on here. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Alright. We'll even use it. We'll go We'll go mine some dilithium while we wait for things, because we're already on the dilithium asteroid, so... That works out well. Alright. Do that. Then I need a steel plate, because of course I do. Thank you. Is that enough? It was indeed enough. Alright, you ready for stupid? <laughs> uh, damn door knocks me back every time. It does not like me. I've, apparently I've offended this door somehow. Uh, uh, that made me dizzy. Um, where's the dilithium at? There's some dilithium. Operation Test the Stupidity is now underway. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Oh, God, yes. This thing is the most... Look at it. It's the most glorious thing to ever exist. Alright. 
Operation Test the Drill. Alright, let's do this. Okay, and we got the piston. Where are you, the piston? I know you're here because by law, I installed. It's right in front of me. I know. I just can't find it. Reverse. Okay, you ready? Beginning drilling with the piston. Look at it. Actually, working. It's actually very smooth. And because it is this smooth, it just needs. We need to expand upon it. We need to have the other piston on the other side installed. And then maybe in the future we can get even more crazy with double pistons. That actually worked really well. Um, no, let's go like that. Okay, how much dilithium did we actually get? 25k. Ah, yeah, look at that. Kind of disappointed. Maybe next we should put the rotor on it. Because why would you not have a rotor on it? I'd call that exit. Yeah, it definitely is a success. It worked very well. Um, and the killer does not crash into the side of the asteroid. We still don't have ice. Ice is a natural issue. Um, we may have to go raid somebody for some ice. I'm sure the people won't mind donating ice to the cause. Um, close. Close. What else I gotta do now? Battery. Okay, so let's get. Did you manage to build the battery like I've requested? No. What are you up to? Okay, you can't build the. Might as well get rid of that one. You can't build it. I want you to build batteries first. I don't know what you wanted that for. Here, build those first. Okay. Yeah, give me the battery. Where are we gonna put this thing? All right. So we got. Refineries and assemblers will be in this section. I think this section here we may use for uh, power and life support type stuff. Oh, and the cargo. I said cargo, didn't I? Alright, well, guess what we get to do? We get to use your. We get to use the crazy drill again. We're going to use right click drill though, so we can just. If you right click, we can drill a large hole. So we just. Extend our reach out so we can keep a safe distance from all of the expensive equipment that we've not installed properly. And we'll just make a bit of a sweeping motion to clear out a large chunk of the asteroid. Go up a little bit. That actually worked way more smoothly than I had anticipated. Look at that. And then we can just retract it. Excellent. That's actually becoming quite useful. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't as silly and stupid as I did. Uh, uh, as oh, my English just went by. Maybe that wasn't as silly and stupid as an idea as I had originally thought. See, English is hard sometimes. So right? apparently, um, yeah, I want that there, which means I need to put a character tool on my hotbar. Let's just get rid of this. Don't get rid of too much. There we go. Here we put that like so. Snap to local grid. So I can just place things. Sometimes it doesn't want to place things. It's like no, but you do that and it snaps everything together. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we need to take out a little bit more it looks like. Um, it's fine. Just that little chunk needs to go there. And I think this will be the back wall here. I've got a nice little plan forming, a nice little base of operations. It's not stupid if it works. Correct, that is my life motto. Um, which explains a lot about things in my life. <laughs> it's also a, a temporary solution that works is not really a temporary solution. Just another one that's more of an observation than a than a motto but yeah excuse me all right let's extend the piston again so i can get 
this done a little bit more. Is that enough? I think that's enough. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. I actually really do like that piston extension on the drill. It makes things a lot less awkward, I guess, would be the right word here, because it's not exactly, um, it's not the best idea, but it's, yeah, I don't know. There we go. It works. Alright, it works surprisingly well, and that makes me happy. And that is all that matters. As long as I'm happy, then everything is hunky-dory. Alright. Let's see. So we probably will put two large cargo containers back here. One here and one here. Um, yeah, we do that. Two large cargo containers. All your minor ships are now getting your pistols. I'm not. I'm honestly thinking that too. Um, I'm, I've you built mining platforms that use drills like that, like when I make tunnels, but I've never really used them to mine, and it's surprisingly effective. So it may have to make it into my rotation as well. I think. All right, let's go with. Can I get a conveyor? Conveyor. Where are you? There you are. Um, don't need the pistons for the moment. We will need them again though, because they are very useful in a large grid. So we put a conveyor junction there, conveyor junction there. Um, you, have, you don't have cargo ports on the bottom. I forgot about this. I love these things that Keen made, like they look awesome. But my men, come on. Connecting points. The other cargo container has connection points. Sorry, we'll just make the connections go in the back wall. Um, one, two, two, one, okay, and there we go. Bam. Put that there, put that there. I know those aren't placed facing the right way up, but it doesn't matter because we won't see them. There we go. Perfect. So we'll have our two cargo containers there. I'll put another assembler here, which I've gotten rid of my hotbar. So we'll have two assemblers, two refineries, we've got two cargo containers, and all that we need now would be battery and power and life support. So, power and life support. Um, I think eventually I'll end up with large reactors, but I don't have large reactors right now. So what we might do is, I'm going to use batteries. Um, which way do I want the batteries? Okay, I want them that way. So we'll have like a row of batteries that go along here. I'm going to use that as a wall. And then I think... So we'll have like a wall. Oh, screw it, let's just put them all down so I can visualize this better. I hate building with scaffolding blocks like this. Sometimes it makes it more, di more difficult than it needs to be to see things. Uh, is there any advantages to using conveyor junctions versus just a conveyor? No. Uh, air tighteners. The, the conveyor junctions are airtight, whereas the conveyors themselves aren't. That is an advantage. Um, because I don't think the large cargo containers are airtight. I can't, I haven't got a building for one. But I don't think these would be airtight um, if you had a conveyor junction, so. All the air would just kind of go up the back. Oh, maybe they are airtight. I don't know, but I do know uh, conveyor junctions aren't airtight. Junctions are airtight, and conveyors aren't. Even the the uh, armored ones. So so these ones definitely not airtight, and these ones are only airtight really on the top, and I think the sides. Except this side with the air cross pattern that you can where you can see the junction that's open to air, so air can flow through there, and air can flow through this side that we're looking at now as well because it's got the gaps so if you want it airtight you kind of have to have that facing outside which is why I put them in upside down here so these these are airtight um, 
Hey, is this the T one? It's not a very good one to show you. This is the curved one. But yeah, I think the curved one on this side, inside here, I think that was that that would be exposed to space so that this section wouldn't have been airtight, except I've got a large block here that's blocking it off. If that makes any sense? I'm not good at explaining things, I apologize. Um, I'm, this is why I can never be a teacher. Or a person in charge of training, because I'm not good at doing that. I just know how things work. <laughs> And I just do it. It does make sense? Awesome. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you understood my ramblings. Um, I'm glad I got help. Alright, let's close that. Alright, what was I doing? Batteries. Okay, so I think we'll have like just a. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with three batteries. Or well, six. Because um, then I'll probably just grab some programmable blocks. I love these automaton, automaton programmable blocks. That's a mouthful. Uh, I just like the way they look. So we can do that. Then I'm going to put like a door there and then that'll be like the door that accesses this room that I'll seal off. Um, I think that'll work. That should work. Right, that'll work. Um, give me these blocks. Okay, Let's do something like that, and then I'll just seal off this wall room, like so, and then we get like a little, little server slash program battery power room thing. There we go. That was totally necessary for me to design. Anyway, can I, do we need insufficient space for a power cell? I think that is a good sign. Just gonna randomly choose this one to build. All right, bam. Not enough power cells in storage. It's all right. I don't need. I, I just needed that much. We had enough. Perfect. We now have power. And ooh, well, that up. Then we go back over here so I can access the control panel, light sphere. Just kind of change the hue, maximum range, intensity down to a two. Or 1.9, doesn't really matter. There we go. And now, there is light. Okay, so I think... I think we should concentrate on... Because that power is not going to last forever. How long is this battery going to last? Fully depleted in two years. Two years with just the light running. It will drop dramatically once we have a refinery put up and things. So, we got to be careful of that. Okay, so where's the con so you got a connection point there? I think pretty sure there is one on at least on the top here. Um Damn those are off. Water is low. Alright, so I'm gonna build one of these refineries. Uh, uh give me this. Can you do that? What are you gonna need? You're going to need 16,000 iron, nickel, cobalt is alright, so 60, 20, and 80.8 of the other stuff, which I'm fairly certain we'll have. It's the iron that's going to be the issue. Um, refinery, do we have any more iron? We have plenty more iron. Look, I need you to do that. Okay. Iron is kind of important. So we can build. I don't even know if I'll have enough iron. Crap, how far away is iron? <laughs> um, it's fine, it'll be fine. We do need... Uh, we can yeah, if we can grab stone and get iron out of that worst case scenario. Not the most ideal situation, but it would help. Would help. I need a drink. There we go. Have my drink. Ah, drink made me thirsty. These chips are making me thirsty. That's the pretzels. I said that wrong. I got that quote completely wrong. Ignore me. Ignore that quote. I'm just gonna... Far away is iron. 28 kilometers away. The iron. That's a bit of a drive. That's a bit of a flight. Um... 
What we might do instead is drill away at something. Should we get these rid of these little rocks here? I feel like no. I feel like I'll miss a bit of those little rocks if I try to drill them away. And if I miss a little bit, I'll end up smacking into it because I won't know that they're there. Also, are we still? We're not drifting towards those little rocks. I'll just be R sort of, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna steal some rock from over here. Yeah, we just we're just making another little asteroid dent. Like there's a couple asteroid dents already. It will blend in. Nobody will know. It'll look totally natural, alright? It's fine. It'll be fine. It's all fine. All right. Piston, go. Go, Piston, go. Go, Piston, go. Hello. Zendor, how are you? Like Zendor? I can't pronounce that name. Zendor. Uh, that's not X. How are you anyway? <laughs> Sorry about the name pronunciation being wrong. I am bad at English. How much stone did we get this time? 7.5k, 23, 50 odd. Oh, we got plenty of stone. That, that stone should cover us through pretty well. Alright. Where is the base that we built? Um, where is it? I have lost it. We built it in here somewhere. I know it's near the dilithium. It's probably in that little gap there. Um, Xeno door. Xeno <laughs> door. door. You're good. That's good. Everything is good. Uh, uh -oh. Asteroids. I really need to get this refinery up so I can start building these thrusters so I don't crash into things. It's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything is always fine. Nothing bad has ever happened and I'm also about to run out of water. Oh, ice. Ice really is a problem. Okay, so we need to... We need to get... Game attack since EverQuest. Yep, yeah, makes sense. That's... That was a good game. Now, I marked this, didn't I? I have not marked this, just... There you go. Home. Home for now. Have a quest. Oh, that brings back memories. Um... I'll get distracted by the EverQuest. It's fine. Ugh. The hiccups. Sorry, I'm just trying to stifle the hiccups. Alright, so we need ice, 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 and water. Water is what we need. I should have grabbed the water before I left. It's fine. I'm bad. Uh, do I have it in my inventory? I don't. Um, can I rotate to access you? Thank you. Do we have water? You do. Give me. You're in the flight seat has water? This whole time the flight seat had water and nobody told me? God. You missed a chance to call it Homeroid. Oh my god, I should have called it Homeroid. <sighs> Luckily, I could change it. And I don't know what you're talking about. It was always named Homeroid. It should be called Homeroid. Oh, it's going to be called Homeroid. <laughs> Homeroid. Homeroid? Homer oh. Double R? No, Homeroid. Yeah, no, okay, no, yep, you, you, it's, never mind, I'm, I'm being stupid. Um, <laughs> homeroid, homeroid. Homeroid, would that be two R's? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't want to take it, I want to drink it, but because I'm eating rashes, it takes forever. Come on, let me drink the damn water, thank you. Nice oh, food. Food's fine. Okay, put our helmet back on. Let's get back out to work. I need to find it ice. Um. Okay. I straight up forgot. Refinery. We wanted to do a refinery. Um. 
We're going to need a refinery. We're going to need more power eventually. Though the sun does come above us. Though it's going to take a minute to get here. Where is the sun? How are you traveling, sun? Yeah, you, you go up over like this way. So I feel... Hmm. I'm going to just sit here for like two hours and just watch the sun on the planet, on the asteroid. Just sit here still. Can, should we do that? Just sit here still and not do anything for two hours? Because I have the day-night cycle set to one hour each one. <laughs> so we can follow the path of the sun. I don't think that's what we're going to do, no. But we can build solar panels. I think if I build... Well... Oh. Okay, let's just do local grid. Let's just everything is gonna be ugly to start off with. Alright, I'm let's let's just be honest here. It's just the way it is with space engineers at the start. It, nothing looks pretty if you want it to just work. Alright. It's fine, I have to accept that. M my heart is telling me to make things look nice and good, but my brain is telling me that, you know, Smokey, that's not necessarily a um, wise build plan. Um, okay, let's do this. Just go over this way, and then let's go over this way. All right, cool. I can build some solar panels here and get some extra power. Just a little bit. Solar panels aren't necessarily the most um, efficient thing to use. They don't even want to get 12. Use it. Are you use the same cost? I think you're the same cost. Yeah, we'll use the new ones. Why? Because I've don't. i never really used the new ones. But the new ones are cool. The new ones you can paint different colors. Like then the solar panels themselves actually change colors. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, do I have enough to build? I don't have enough solar cells. Build me f that many and focus on the. You are focusing on the solar cells, so that's convenient. Um, refinery. Did we run out of iron? No, there's still more iron. A, a smidgen. You get a smidge more iron. You're not gonna. There we go. You're not being very. You're not being very helpful here. Okay. okay. You filled I filled it up. I filled all the inventory up and now I can't eh, just make iron. Alright. And then no. I wish I could just like drag and swap. <laughs> just let me swap that for that, would ya? No, you're not gonna let me do it? Okay, well. Eh. There. Eh. Make me iron. Alright. Reduction. No, make me these. <laughs> That's like I'm giving it mixed signals and it's probably not happy with me right now. How much do I have in me? 32. Okay. I can, like, build one. No, I can't. I, I need the... Why are you making the thing? You don't have silicon and nickel? <sighs> That's fine. It's fine here. Don't, don't make the... Don't make the things. Just clear. I wish there's a clear all button here. Make that, and then go to the refinery. I love the colorables. Really? I never thought about making the flag with the solar panels. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a good idea. There is one advantage to having the flat solar panels, though, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you cool? No, you're doing both. Yeah, it's, give me that. So with these. I don't know if it'll work with these ones. It might actually still work, but I know with the these. Uh, nope, not that. Where's the damn solar panels? These solar panels. What you can do is you can place one like this, and then you can place the other one like that, and they both will get full sun and charge. So it's like two panels for the space of one sort of. I don't know if you can do it with the other one. Let's test. Let's let's put the new ones down and let's see if it'll work with those as well. Alright, so the new one. You got me curious, so now I kind of have to do it. So put that like that. Yeah, when I found out, it was like a massive game changer. Um, why won't you place that? You won't let me place that one there. 
Is it because of no real reason? There appears to be no real reason why you won't let me place that there. Interesting. Uh, I don't think it will let me place another solar panel on top of this solar panel for some weird reason. Well, let me place... So I can place that. I can place that. Alright, maybe it just wants a thing to be placed on. It does. Okay, it just wants something to be placed on. Well, we can do... This... Um, get rid of that for now. Bam. We place that there like so. So we got full power on that one. If we place that one there, we're going to be short like 29 solar panels. But, are you... Ah, it doesn't work with this one. You see how it's dropping? Armor panel might work, take up less space. Probably, yeah, it would. Yeah, that uh, It actually would work, that is. See, look. It, it blocked it. I wonder now, have they changed it? So you'll go back up to full power. Oh, two, three, yeah. So let's go back up. All right. And then we go back to this one. Uh, pull them. There we go. Also, these solar panels are great because you don't need this. You don't need support. It'll just snap to the other one. Alright, so we weld this one up. Okay, well it's getting power. And then if I weld this up... Well, I can only weld it that far. It looks like it's still maintaining power. Yeah, so with the new ones you can't do it. But the old ones, you can double stack your panels. There you go! Science! I like it. It's great. It's amazing. It's totally... <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It works well. Alright, so production... Give me more solar panels. Alright, so we can finish off that last solar panel. Get at least two... Two bits of power coming in for now. Alright. And then we can get this refinery built. And then get some platinum refined so we can build some more thrusters. Or oh, at least weld these thrusters up, which I think would come in very handy. Um, it is good to know. Uh, solar panel, dump everything, grab me all the stuff. You need one more girder. That's an interesting thing to be short of. Give me the girder. Are we good now? Okay, sweet. I don't think I should. Yeah, you're charging to full. There you go. Two solar panels. 100% confirmed. We'll work with the old ones, but not with the new ones. Good to know. Keep that in mind. Write that down. Um, can I build a third? You need three more girders and 31 solar panels. All right. Um, let's just do that and then do that. Because I want to place another one flat down. Because the sun will, when the sun gets right above these things, they're not going to be able to um, get charged. Missing items. Oh, what are you missing? Uh, nickel and probably silicon. Uh, well, it's not nickel. It's going to be silicon. Okay. Well, then you need stone. And put that in there. There we go. Also put that behind there. Because, yes. Reasons. Does the stone not give silicon? Or is it just taking it so fast? Oh, it's just stealing it. Okay, it's just stealing it so fast. Excellent. Excellent. We're making progress. Alright. It's getting there. It's getting there. Alright, give me this. Unfortunately, we can't make yield modules just yet, but we're not refining enough. Um, we're not refining enough resources for that to matter. So we're going to need 8,800 iron, a bunch of cobalt, silicon, and nickel. Which... Iron do we have? We don't have much at all. Energy. We've got plenty low. of stone. Nickel is not gonna be an issue. I think it I think we'll be fine. Uh, screw it. We gotta go out. I was trying to avoid it, but I think we're gonna have to go and um, get find iron nearby. Because it's gonna take a minute doing it this way. Do we even have room in the vehicle to mine some more stuff? 
The jewel is empty, which has 117,000 liters. Is that really? That's a fair bit of storage space inside the jewel. So if we bang that jewel too hard, it's going to blow up in our faces, quite literally. Um, cargo, we can put 7,000 liters in that. Okay. Uh, do I? I don't think I do. Metal grid, small steel tubes, and motors. Okay, can I just... Um, let's get rid of the refinery for a sec. How many metal grids did I need? I need... 7 metal grids and 38 small steel tube motors. Okay, so... Make 10 of those... 40 of those... I think what we might do is we'll weld up one of these cargo containers, we'll put a connector on them... Yeah. Finish a large cargo container. Yep. There we go, me and Xenodor have the same thought process here. Yeah, so we'll build the cargo container, at least one of them. And uh, we'll build a connector on the ship and on here and we'll just move all our cargo into it. And then we can go find ourselves some iron and uh, nickel and silicon and whatever else. Hopefully we can get it all really quick and easy, but probably it won't happen that way. Alright, so... Let's just grind this down because it's just in my way. We'll put energy a... critical. I know, my energy is always critical. Be quiet, I'll fix it in a second. It's fine, it'll be fine, it's always fine. Look, is there a... <laughs> How am I going to connect this stupidly? <laughs> what is the most dangerous and stupid and idiotic way I could possibly connect this? Sideways. Sideways is probably the most dumbest way I can do this. Um, I don't really have a connection point there. Uh, I was thinking something a little bit more stupid than that. Jonathan, I'm thinking... We're going to... <laughs> oh, Lord forgive me for this. I apologize to, Kang, to Clang and all those who are about to be highly offended by about what I'm about to do. So I'm going to put a connector there, I'm going to rotate the ship upside down and I'm just going to connect it to there. This is all temporary. This is not ever going to be the main way I'm doing things. I just need this to be done. <laughs> Oh my god, this is dumb. This is the stupidest idea I've had in a while, and I've had some pretty stupid ideas lately. Uh, still plates go last, still plates go last. Give me the motors. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so we need motors for that. No oh, out energy. of energy again. Totally, th this isn't how we died last time. No, we didn't die last time. I don't know why I keep saying making that mistake. We haven't died yet. It's been a flawless playthrough. Your health is critical. Slap it. This is quality engineering. It, uh, yeah, that's a that's a way of putting it. That is definitely a way of putting it. I'm not going to worry about food. We'll eat food while we're in the cockpit flying, looking for ice and iron and things nearby. Um, port on top of large container? The, the, these large cargo containers, the sci-fi ones, they don't, for some reason, have ports on top of them. I could rotate them and then have that port there on the side on the top, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea, except for the fact that then this one little, <laughs> this one little keypad will be at an angle, and that will drive me insane. <laughs> it, it wouldn't drive me insane. It's not something I couldn't live with, but it's something I would always notice. Um, and it's temporary, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is a temp this is one of those very rare temporary solutions that will work but will not become permanent. Um, it, those are extremely rare. Usually a temporary solution that works stays that way and not isn't really temporary but yeah it, it, this is just uh, this is just, this is stupid. <laughs> oh something bad is going to happen. Um Let's just do this in first person. Okay, so we want to 
Oh god, I'm not happy with anything. We want to go like this. Um. <laughs> I could hand carry, uh, as evidenced by that, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Oh god. Probably should just... Oh, I'm smashing stuff at the rear. What was that? What What was that? Oh, is it the thruster? Okay, it's just the thruster burning away everything. Okay. Should have seen that coming. Um, this rear thruster is going to want to demolish everything it comes across. And we need to get down lower than what we are. Didn't think of that either. Um, light go away. Now who needs light? Uh, also, I'm gonna disconnect this because it's gonna get disconnected anyway. I think it's fine. Let's just clear a path. Everything's fine and as it should be. Nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. It's all part of the plan. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is like the least efficient. Well, nope, there's no gravity and everything's upside down. Even if there was gravity, that would have been wrong. Alright. We just need. Honestly, we just need to connect up this connector. Uh, everything's reversed. Up and down is not up and down. Okay, that, that thing needs to get out of our way. Ugh. And I just keep venting the ship to space. It's fine. What am I going to get rid of? These are in the way. Okay, luckily I hadn't walled any of these up, so it's all fine. You're okay. You can stay. You have to stay because you're around. There's also power. Actually, no, the solar panel at the moment. Um... Rotate down. Come on, just touch. No, nope. well, oh, reverse. Come on, connector. Just go. Nothing bad has ever happened. This is stupid. <laughs> and I love it. Alright, there we go. We got. We, we, okay. Okay. No, I'm going the wrong way because I'm, everything is reversed when I'm looking down. Eh! I can't see! I can't get the... There, there we go. Alright, let's rotate like that. No other way. You know, emptying by hand I probably would have been done by now. <laughs> oh! I keep thrusting the wrong way as well. Any other time these damn connectors are like, Ugh, I'll grab you from a mile. <sighs> I just broke it. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit less stupid. Um, we're just gonna get a little bit less stupid. Not completely less stupid, just a little. Uh, so what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna build just a small little conveyor that make, moves it up one block. Okay. Okay. Pull um, that stuff for me then. What do we need? Motors and small steel tubes. It's always motors and small steel tubes. That and that. That and that. You're missing iron, so inventory. Of course the refinery is not doing any stone. Make the iron for me. Then make the stone. Thank you. I appreciate you doing that because that's what I need and want more than anything. Yeah, we're just gonna do this, do this, and then it will actually, it needs a hinge. <laughs> yes. A hinge probably would actually work in this situation. Um, but, dare I say, that might be slightly over-engineering a bit too much. <laughs> I just want to get this done. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm not. No, no, go. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, just. Oh, for Christ's sake. 
<laughs> See, you do stupid things, you get stupid results. Alright, that's just the law of the land. Also, did I, I am so turned around. There we go. There! I haven't got small steel tubes or motors or computers. Okay, well, that's just rude. And also, I don't want that, I want that. Small steel tubes and motors. Why is it always small steel tubes and motors? Um... Motor. That's not motor, that's a gravity component. You go there, you go there. You're probably running out of iron again. Because the refinery will automatically want to do the nickel first, even though I need iron, so I want you to do the stone first. I don't know why the refinery has this auto-sort thing on. It doesn't make sense to me. There's probably a way to turn it off. Is there? Um... Refinery... No, not really. So it's just stop being a pain in my ass. It's kind of that simple. Just stop. Nobody likes a difficult thing. Okay, so I need... Uh, motors. No, don't build that shit crap, right? Alright. And now, we should be able to connect without... Scraping our heads on the ground and blowing up everything. Everything should be all hunky-dory as long as I can remember that everything is in reverse. Right at this at this angle. No. Come on. Up a little. Rotate. Come on. Any other time these connectors are like instant like, ugh. Yeah, let's just do this the right way. There we go. One millionth time was the... They just, yeah, whatever. Yeah, take that. Alright. God. I think we get there in the end. Um. Excellent. <laughs> I don't ever want to do that again. Alright, uh, let's see. Um, where is... The, that refinery's got a bunch of crap in it. We'll keep that in here. Where is the cargo container? Cargo, you go into there, click on that first, then I can just double click and send you all over there and the ship can be, no, okay, for a second I thought it was taking everything back. Alright, the ship should now officially be much lighter and emptier, um, here's hoping that works, and everything should be all hunky dory, okay, ship is definitely more empty, I can tell by the fact that the hot bar is nearly full. Uh, we still got a, f a small amount of components in here, which is fine. Uh, I think we're good. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. I just need to reconnect the base back up to itself. And then we, I can, we can go begin the arduous journey of Asteroid. Scanning again. Um, yeah. So, while we're doing that, what is the most ridiculous thing you've built in Space Engineers? Let me know. Let me know. Because some of the stuff people come out come come out with is quite entertaining at times, and I like to know about that kind of stuff. It entertains me. All right, let's go. Alright, we'll be back soon, home. Homeroid. Homeroid. For now, we need to find iron. Ice. And, uh, probably a bit of all the basic resources. No more of the Star Trek stuff for a bit, would you? We're just gonna go straight to this asteroid that we're facing at here. Um, I think that'll be our best bet. Why is like... What's going on? I think the I think the ship is broken. There we go. The ship was broken, just a little on off and it seemed to have fixed it. Oh, we're at our power limit too. Oh, is the battery dead? 
Did I tell me the batteries are dead? The batteries are dead. Oh, that's actually a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Oh, when I connected to the... No, the base wouldn't have drained my power, right? Surely not. Surely not. We're fine. It's all fine. It's fine. We, we got full sun. Which must mean the sun's right above us. Sweet. It is. Do we have... Okay, let's turn off a few things. Alright. So on our hot bar, we're going to put the ore detector on there so we can have toggle on off for that. Um, I think I'm just going to turn the assemblers and the refinery and that off. And here, just turn them off. Turn the refinery off. Okay. And we'll switch that off. That should give us just a little bit of extra breathing room when it comes to things. I want to make a biblically accurate piston drill mining ship for some reason. A biblically accurate. <laughs> Is it like, does that mean it's going to be in the shape of clang or are you going to have like a ship that with like a K front and it's going to have the pistons extend out of the K? I, I don't know. Or is it the C? However you spell Kang. Or are you talking like real of people? <laughs> Accurate. Because then I don't even know what that would look like. Or are you just talking about rotors and hinges? I think you should have a rotor and a hinge which has another rotor connected to a piston which then has another hinge so you can bend it around the back of your... So it starts at the back of your ship. Use a... He, a hinge rotor system to like spin it around to the front and top of the vehicle and then extend it forward on a piston. Yeah, comes out the rear, hinges up, and then up again, double hinge, and then a piston to extend it. Okay, that just like a scorpion tail. <laughs> I kind of want to make that now. I'm not going to, but I want to. Alright, let's go. We got 54 seconds of braking power now, theoretically. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're running low on power. It is a thing. Um. Do I have enough for a solar panel? I need. Okay, I might need to turn the assembler back on. Just turn you on for a second. And build me. Can you build me two solar panels? How, how much power is that going to take? Twenty. We've got twenty-seven minutes of power using that one assembler. So we're making enough power off the sun to make it to still. Okay. Well, yeah, we're barely making enough power off the sun right now. That's fine. It's fine. That's part of the plan. Um, I don't know who's plan, but it's part of a plan. Alright, production, are you done? I need you to... You're running low on silicon. Crap, I'm like... Is that like five short? 32 inning, I need two of them. Yeah, I'm like five solar panels short. And that, so inventory... Do we have any stone left on the ship? I got rid of it all, didn't I? Oh no, we got a tiny bit of stone left. Okay. Control panel. Assembler off. Refinery on. Do that. Um, how much more silicon do we need? We need like 50 more silicon. Uh, let's just check in how close we were to that asteroid. Any 50 silicon? Uh, we got 9. Okay, we should be able to get, hopefully, the amount that we need. How much power? We got 40 minutes, so we're still generating power from the sun. Are we at? F no, we're at three stars. Let's go like that. Give us four stars. Just give us that tiny little bit. Four stars. Four green lights. Let's just get that tiny bit of extra power. <laughs> How much power are we going to use when we put that on? Apparently, we gained a power for. Okay, the auto detector doesn't seem to use much power. I'm still going to leave it off when not using it. Um, it's because I don't like having all the ore detected things on my face. What stuff is out there? Uh, we've got private sale. 
Apparently the aluminum has become neutral to us. We must have annoyed it somehow. Maybe it's because I keep pronouncing it differently and wrong. I don't know. Okay, just floating through space. Okay, the refinery should have... I don't know. Don't tell me you pissed off all the stone, or did we... Oh, we used all the stone. Okay, well... Then I don't need the refinery on anymore. Turn that off. Assembler, turn that back on. Production. Okay, give me those. Hopefully that was enough. It probably wasn't. I just want to build two more solar panels. We can at least get one up though. If we can... Oh, I don't think there's anything in here that has a... I think, do we have any, what, do we have displays or something in our inventory? We got, look at computers, we can maybe break down a few computers. How many computers do I need to build a solar panel? Do I need any? I think it's only a small amount, right? Right? Um, okay. Solar panels, we need four computers to make, okay, four computers for that. And how many... What do we need? Another f little 11 silicon? Okay, let's disassemble. 10 computers. Okay, turn the assembler back on. Okay, go to assembling. Still, we still need 10. Okay, how many computers do we have in the inventory? 55, I need like 10, we got that there. So we can disassemble um, that many. It's only going to give us a small amount. Yeah, computers aren't worth enough. But are they worth enough to get me two? I don't think so. Do I already have still? No, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna work. It's alright. We're right next to an asteroid. I don't know why I'm worrying about that. We're right on an asteroid. We can just, um, <laughs> we can just get more, get more uh, stone. It's fine. Okay, so those thrusters will burn these away. These are just temporary, um, just so we can get a bit more power into the ship. Because I did a dumb and forgot about, forgot about um, power. On the ship, probably. On, hey, apparently I had enough. They have some in my inventory or something. I must have had a fair bit in my. Oh yeah, because we're going to build another one on the base. Ah, never mind. It's fine. I was worrying about nothing. That seems like a bog standard event for me. All right, let's have a look. What's on this asteroid? I want ice. Nope, gold and silicon. Okay. We do need silicon though. Actually, yeah, no, we do, don't we? So that's uh, gold, silicon. Okay, let's grab ourselves some of this silicon. Do we have gold back at home? Did we grab? We grab gold. It was like one of the first things we grabbed, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it did. It was. It was. Yeah. Let's just grab this silicon, and we'll get, then we'll go to that asteroid there. That looks like a nice big juicy asteroid, because that's how that works, right? The bigger the asteroid, the better the resources on it. we got 50 something seconds of power. Um, are we facing the sun perfectly? We are. God, I really wanted to push this to the line, didn't I? Well, I didn't want to, I just did. Ow. Go, get me stuff. Go, little drill head, go! Get me things! Get me things! I forgot there was a connector on the end of that. <laughs> because, you know, we're doing stupid stuff. It's fine. Alright, how much silicon did we get? 38,000? That's, that's enough for now, alright? It's iron and ice is the key one. I mean, I... Well, it's ice, really. I mean, worst case scenario, we just mine rocks and we live off that for a minute. But uh, we really want ice, otherwise we'll die. Because I decided it was a great idea to put food on. 
and I am aiming straight for that asteroid. That was not a wise flight plan. Never aim straight at an asteroid when flying. Always aim off to the side of it. Um, you only have to crash a few times to learn that mistake. Also, look at look at look at Earth out there. What's that golden silicon? You must be part of that, also. That asteroid we just left. I'm talking too fast. All right, so we got Earth over there. Is it Earth? That might not be Earth, actually. There are other planets that are Earth-like. Um, maybe there's like one Earth-like planet and then one of the alien planets is... looks nice. I can't remember. I was going to say, this asteroid looks funny, but then I realise it's the dirt on the screen of the um, glass panel on the ship. <laughs> it's got little specks on it. Alright. Nobody likes flying around in space forever. I should have put that, uh, what's that? Spectrometry? 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 Yeah. So far I've crashed every ship and rover I have built. Everyone has crashed every ship and rover that you have built. That they have built. Trust me. There is no ship that you will ever build that you, there won't be at some point that you crash it. Um, it is the law. It is a requirement, then there's asteroids are trash. Uh, I want to go to that asteroid to my right. Yeah, I want to go to that asteroid just over there. Why? I have no real reason for it. Uh, um, uh, do I have the power? I don't have the power. I don't have the power! That's fine. Who wants power anyway? It's not like power ever gets you anyway. My dampeners are on, by the way, so... Uh, let's just turn this off. Let's let build up a bit of... Power juice. We got that full... Yeah, no, we don't. Where's the sun? Okay, let's just tilt this down. We're just gonna float through space without, a da without our dampeners turned on. No, I don't want nothing to do with no raiders. You go away. Bad. Bad game. Bad. Okay. You ever get a pirate's attack, you just run towards a neutral target. <laughs> let, let them deal with it. That doesn't always work, mind you. Um, it's just... It's your best option sometimes. Sometimes it's your only option. But that pirate does not seem to be coming my way. So that's a good sign. Also, where's home base? I don't know where the home base is. I've lost it. Home or it. There it is. Okay. You know what the best is when you crash a rover. And, um... <laughs> well, you don't even crash a rover. The best is when you're just driving along and then out of nowhere something clips in the ground and, if, and makes a giant crater. And you're like, what? <laughs> and then you get it stuck. I've done that quite a fair bit. That's always a fun thing to do. I don't have thrusters. How much power have we got? Enough to barely slow us down. This is not a good situation I found myself in. Um, oh, maybe we can do it. Maybe. I didn't need to get out of the seat for this. Maybe we can go to the assembler. Okay, that is turned on. Can I maybe con you into building me a battery? Hmm? Can I do that? We don't have iron a bit. Do we have iron? Uh, no, we don't have the iron. Uh, look, uh, make construction components. I don't need bulletproof glass. I do need these. Okay. Don't need construction components. In fact, actually, we here. Let's disassemble some construction components and some of these alright and then get rid of that, we don't need you alright, so what do we need? like 200, so disassemble all of that stuff that should give us like 1.8 iron, 1.8k worth of iron apparently okay, and then if we can do that we can slap another battery on this thing just somewhere <laughs> and that'll give us 25% why is there drones coming at me? why? no no, I don't agree with this. Why would you do this to me, game? <laughs> no, 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 character tools. 
Uh, weapons. I got like one handgun. I am not prepared for this. Alright. This is gonna end terribly. It's coming at me. God damn it. Um. So what we're gonna have to do. <sighs> Crap. And there's no. There's a rust freighter over there, but we haven't got the power to get to it. Um. Okay. It's okay. Calm down. We breathe. We need more power cells. No, we don't. Go! Oh. Eh. Don't shoot at me! It killed me. <laughs> By the way, that's an asteroid, I think. Uh, survival kit. Respawn. I don't really have anything I can do. Let's try and get towards that neutral ship over there. Um, I, I don't know what I had on my inventory. Uh, hopefully not much. I didn't have anything special. The refinery is taking a bit of hits. If we can get to this freighter, going to be more effective. Yeah, it would be. Uh, if we can get to this freighter, hopefully we can have it destroy that raider drone for me. I don't think we're going to have the power to maneuver there, though. Uh, production. Did you build the stuff I need for the battery? The battery is not even connected. Awesome. Um, why are you not building the things I wanted for the battery? Because I got you on disassemble. We need you to build that battery. Please build that battery. Also, I should probably fix this before it disconnects the entire ship. Please don't disconnect the entire ship. Do not spread the ship in half. It'll be disastrous. Okay, that Raider drone is... I don't have the power to deal with you. Also, yes, I think that asteroid in the middle of the screen, I think that's an all-ice asteroid, because it's got that blue tinge to it I was talking about earlier. Um, it's going to do GPS, GPOS? No, GPOS. Maybe ice -toroid. I can't spell this right. I'm in a hurry. Near. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that... Do you think that thing's gonna come at I think that thing's gonna still keep coming at me. I hate raiders. Okay. Did you do the why aren't you building the battery? Missing items, silicon and nickel. It's because this thing is damaged, isn't it? There you go. Production. Missing items, silicon, nickel. Something is broken somewhere. You, 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 you're fine. You're fine. You had it, didn't you? Oh, you got nickel. Alright, we'll put this in manually because you're being a pain in the ass about it. You got that. It's the silicon. Alright. It is the silicon. What do you need silicon for? Just build my goddamn batteries. You need. Guess what? You need 24 silicon for batteries. Of course you do. Of course you do. Did we grab? No. Wait, did we grab silicon? Um. I thought we did. We did. It's in the connector, which is like the most awesome thing for it to be in. Uh. Refinery on. Okay. Close that. Alright, where was that ice droid? It's right over there. Should we, can I check? So I don't, no, so I know if I'm gonna, where's me? Ugh, God. Okay, so I am here flying this way and I think that's an ice droid. It's not an ice droid. I've been like, wait, no it is. There you go. I told you they exist. That is an asteroid made out of completely out of ice. I knew it! Anyway. <laughs> um. 
Oh, don't tell me that thing despawned. Boo! Damn it, that, that um, ship I was trying to get to has despawned. I can't use it for defense. What we can do is uh, hold on to our butts and pray. Yeah, I know. I'm running two things at once. You don't like it. Um, where's the assembler? It's up the top here. Turn you off. Okay, inventory, refinery. I just need a bit. How much did you need to finish off your production? You need like 12. We have that. Okay. Control panel. Uh, we turn you back on. I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to grab you. Um, there's the sun. Sun's there. I've lost that ice for it. Is that it? Right to my left? I think it is. There's silver. We found silver at least. Um, that drone is like following us, by the way. It's fine. Go slash GPS silver. I forgot the slash because I typed too quickly. Boom. Alright. I hate the pirates. Um I haven't found magnesium either. Let's do that. Okay. Production. Okay, you finally finished. That I actually need you to build another two um, power cells. Four, four, sorry, rather. All right, let's put the battery and grab that. Um, put you this way. No real reason. And we have power. We have power. Uh, okay. Um, assembler. Just gonna turn you off. I don't need you wasting what little power we have to maneuver. We got six minutes of power. Six minutes of power is better than what we had. I'm just trying to do like a flyby this asteroid so I can. I know I'm using all my power. I know I don't have the power to spare, but. It's important to me that I mark this asteroid down as an, a base so I remember that I can come back here and get this asteroid later and we'll deal with this freaking... I hate pirates. I hate fighter drones. Um, I'm pretty sure I need magnesium to build the ammo for the interior turret which I don't have. You don't need magnesium to build pistol magazines though. No, I don't have a pistol anymore because I died with it. <laughs> Good work, me. I just wanted to get some stuff. Leave me alone. Pick on somebody else. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. This is why we play this game, right? For the challenge. Um, also, let's just go uh, slash GPS. Asteroid. Yeah, they're very useful. These, uh, they, they can sustain you for quite a long time. You can get quite a fair bit of ice out of them. And as long as you don't have pirates chasing you, they're a great source of these. <laughs> I'm going to try, is there like a cave in this thing I can hide the ship in? Not really, but kind of. I can kind of, okay, there is a kind of cave. I can see one sort of break. Break. I'm also about to die from food and water. This game is not at all chill about anything. Um, do I have food and water in my inventory? I've got one in my flight seat. I don't want beer. I want that. It, okay. Let's go. We gotta hide. It's coming. Solar panels, protect me. Alright. If we can get inside this cave, I can just attack this thing with a grinder. Um, or maybe I can make it smash into the asteroid. Because AI piloting is not necessarily the smartest thing at times. Okay. Let's just hide in here. Oh, sweet. There's a nice little nook and cranny for the ship. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> we, if we turn our ship systems off, we can become one with the ice. Just like that episode with Odo and Wayun hiding from the Jemadar patrols in a giant ice. That ended up bad for them. Well, no, well, it ended up bad for one of them. But yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's eat some of this food. I think I lost all my food when I died. I don't remember what I had on me. Um, did I dump it? Maybe I dumped it. I don't know. But, I feel a bit safer now. I, it's still sitting out there. I can see it moving about. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's not attacking, which is excellent. Alright, so we need to get some sleep. I don't know how anyone can sleep with a raider drone flying above their heads. And we need to get some food. Apparently I ate all of the food. Didn't know that was a thing. Um, Alright, let's just dump this stuff back into the seat. I don't want to lose it because I'm about to do some stupid stuff. Alright. Let's have a look. Put our helmet back on. This, where is this Raider drone? He's like... He's trying to get at me. He wants to find where this ship is hiding. He knows it's out here somewhere. Alright. I can see you. I can see you. Can I get to you without you shooting at me? The answer is no. Your health is critical. No! No! Nope. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. Um, yeah. <laughs> How do we deal with this? Do we, um... Hmm. Hmm. You're still getting power in here? Thank Christ for that. Thank God they haven't fixed that. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this uh, drone. I don't know. They're gonna have to figure this out. Any ideas? I, any ideas? I, I know you said that the grinder would be more effective than the handgun, but right now the handgun is only the only real option that I have, um, because it's the only thing I can make ammo for. Uh, so the, the assembler's turned off, isn't it? Assembler. Uh, you craft me that. I'm sh sure that's a Bug up! Bug up! It found a way in! It found its way in! It followed me! It followed me! Okay, we gotta... Okay, this vehicle needs to be hidden more. Because we can't afford to lose anything let the survival kit it's that's what it was just shooting at oh this is like a curved thing okay no 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 you stay there droney no bad space drone we may have to do something stupid we may have to ram it all right we're gonna have to ram it we're gonna put a protective bubble this is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. But it's the only it's the only real option I have right now. What we might try is I'm gonna try the handgun first. Um, not exactly a good idea. Let me get some health, and then we're gonna go out there. Ramming speed with a piston drill. <laughs> yeah, I think ramming speed with a piston drill will be our next option. But yeah. And yes, healing up is a very good idea. This isn't going to work. I, I know that shooting it in the face isn't going to work. Press O, you're broadcasting a position. Oh, God damn it! Is that still a thing? I thought they stopped that, but thank you. I thought they stopped doing that, but... At least I know the sun's there. I could... Oh, you're not getting sun anymore. Boo. Um, it's alright. I see you. Ow. It shot me. Did it shoot me? Must have shot me. My health is down. I can't see it. 
That's the problem. I can't see what I'm shooting at. I am hitting it. I just can't see what I'm hitting. I didn't hit it that time though. Ow, ow, owie. Did it blow up my gun? <laughs> Turning off attack. It used to. I know that it, that used to. Uh, they used to run on tracking down your antennas. I don't know if they changed. I thought they changed it. I might be wrong. I probably am. Um. But yeah. Did that, did that just blow up my gun? By the way. I'm just asking because that seemed to like. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. We're building a shield. We're gonna ram it. Ramming is the best solution in all things. It, ne it never fails. Ramming never fails. Except for all the times it does fail. But we don't talk about the times it does fail. Because the times it does fail, there's no survivors to tell the tale. That's why nobody... That, that's why everyone thinks that ramming works. Speaking of which, where'd it go? Did it despawn? Did it despawn? Somebody tell me it despawned. Let me celebrate my victory over this thing. I think it despawned. Okay. Broadcasting only helps nowadays if they aren't currently chasing. Oh. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to leave my antenna turned off. <laughs> I think it's despawned. I think we survived by hiding in the hole like brave people. <laughs> uh. Either way, I've got my ramming thing. <laughs> it knew we were going to ram it and, it and it got scared. I'm, that's what, yeah, I'm sticking with that story. Okay, these are coming off though. Alright, I think we got lucky. Um, we outlasted its, its lifetime, I think. I guess there's a timer. For how long these things will stay alive. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah, it's just a safer option. I just... I honestly forgot about it. I'll be honest. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, this battery only has... It'll be fully depleted in two hours. That's fine. Let's just get out of here. Let's get back out. Actually, let's mine some of this ice while we're here. Because that was like the whole point of coming in here. And, and then we can... I think we might as well continue our search for iron. Where's the exit? It's right above me. Okay. I do miss the days of when you used to be able to get... I suppose I was getting solar power through the asteroid for a bit there. But that used to be fun. You used to be able to build solar arrays inside asteroids. And the hiding is... Yeah, hiding is always... <laughs> hiding is the way. Uh, it blew up my solar panel that I didn't put that I never welded up. Oh, well, this did its job. It protected the home ship, and the home ship lives to fight another day. All right. Oh, the basic assembler took a bit of damage, but we're not using the basic assembler anymore. Anyway, we got a proper assembler. As long as that's still functioning, we're all good. By the way, the piston is. Oh, it's the. It's the connector. So I was like, we're getting pushed back. Why is the ship being pushed away? Uh, it's because there's that damn connector I put on the back. It's limiting limiting the efficiency of the uh, piston drill for now. But it still is kind of pushing us back slowly. Just push forward a bit. Yeah. Alright. How much ice have I got? That should be enough to tie us over whatever we got, right? 30, 100k. 100k of ice will do us for now. Alright. Another cool thing I like to do, I mean you can just turn the drill on and off by putting on and off on the hotbar, but if for some reason you don't want to do that, you can hold left trigger, press tab, bring up your inventory, and let go of left trigger and then it just keeps drill mining. But yeah, you can just also turn it on and off. <laughs> that also does it. Alright, so... We are body location... Oh, we can grab that gun back. We should, should I grab that absolutely useful save that see it was the gun the gun scared it away all right it was like oh my god this person has the ability to make a handgun and shoot bullets at me blindly 
That means that we must leave him alone. He is not the weak target we once thought. Also, we need to find magnesium so I can build like turrets. Because I don't want to go through that ever again. I don't know what the... I don't know what that um, scrap that dropped was when I got... Does the scrap just me? Yeah, and the food might be there. Yeah, the food is always there. Ah, uh, where's the stupid ship at? Respawn pod. <sighs> Let's do this. Also, I should probably put a little battery on that thing. Uh, G battery. What I should just do, actually, is I should build a connector and connect it to the this thing so I can build it. Um, all right. So what was I trying to do? Build a battery. I just want a small battery. I think I should have the stuff for a small battery. I do. All right. Let's place that there. We'll G you up. Okay, do you still have a small amount of stuff in you? You do, sweet. Make more food and make more drink. We need food and drink. We don't want to... We don't want to die from that. Alright, where is home? I just want to go and search asteroids not far from home. So home is... 38 kilometers from home. We may have taken a bit of a detour, it seems. Where is the sun? Where is the sun? The sun doesn't exist. Is the sun behind that asteroid? No. Where the hell did the sun go? <laughs> There's the sun. I just wanted to know which way I had to rotate this guy. Yes, more power. No, turn the thrusters off. The damn ones off. Okay, so if home is where the heart is, my heart is over there. So I think what we might go do... So I'm going to check these two asteroids right in front of us. So that long skinny boy right next to the cross here and the one just to the left. And then we'll try hit up another asteroid close to home because I don't want to have to fly too far out the hole. But we're 38 kilometers from home and there was iron and stuff um, like 20 kilometers from home before. So, yeah. But hey, we found an asteroid so, it, you know, in the end everything works I guess. Also, where was that? Maybe asteroid near you. Yeah, they can go. We already we found the asteroid. Oh, man. Stress will stop. I hate when things shoot at me. Yeah, so they. Oh, we should check that unknown signal. They might have an algae base or whatever. Oh, it's behind me. Um. Oh no, we need food, water, and sleep. Um, okay, let's grab that. Give me that. You know what? Here, let me eat potato chips first. Pringles. Bam. Um, bam. How much did that do? Gave me a little bit of sweet. And then sleep. Give me back my sleep. Okay, we had. I wish I could sleep that quickly in real life. I love sleeping though, it's so comfortable and warm. Um, let's go grab this unknown, oh, my helmet's off. I keep forgetting that it takes your helmet off when you eat, like, who would have thought? Also, I'm just gonna drop this here. Just so I can find the damn respawn pod again. No on my luck, that respawn pod marker that's on my screen would despawn. <sighs> this is dangerous too. should never abandon your ship in space like this. This is like a good guide on what to not do in Space Engineers. Step one, don't abandon ship to go after unknown signals. That's like the first thing on the list. Step two, turn your damn antenna off. Actually, having my antenna turned off is um, that that mod that was, was it corruption originally that used to hunt you down through your antenna. That's also why I don't build antennas on ships anymore. And if I do build them, I always just turn them off instinctively. Just. <laughs> So yeah, that's my own fault. I should always have it turned off. It's always the good idea. Alright, let's have a look at this unknown signal. Please don't be the one running ones. Oh, you're one of those running ones, aren't you? Please don't. No, you're not. Oh, thank God. I hate the ones that run away from you. It's just tedious and annoying. And you never get anything out of them anyway. Alright, did you have algae for me? No, but you got Pringles and some money and a new grinder. Hey, we got an upgraded grinder. 
I was going to build one of those anyway, but hey, we got one now, so that helps out. Bye bye. It is more. F I think it is. This yeah, it's quicker. Is it quicker and more fuel efficient, or is this one just quicker but uses more power? I can't remember. There are downsides. I think until you get to the elite one, then the elite one's just better all around. Okay. Um. There we go. Hey, the res I can still see the respawn bot, that's great. I still don't trust. <laughs> Just because I can see it doesn't mean I trust it. Ugh. Dampen is off, let's just go K, GPS we can turn smoky number two off. I don't even remember what smoky number one was, so I have to leave it now. Can you see any red on that asteroid that we're floating past? I see blue. But blue could be anything now. Uh, I don't know. I think I want to make a detour. <laughs> oh, not with that gun though. I don't need the gun. Uh, G character tools. Give me the drill. Let's just make a quick flyby of this thing. See what's in this guy, and then we'll head back to the um the ship that's just floating in space, unarmed and exposed and. Hoping and praying that nothing shoots at it. I swear I can hear thunder. <laughs> it's not in real life. Is that meant to be like stomach sounds maybe? Because I'm down to like 34 health. Is that what that is? 34 health. 34 food. Alright. I'm just going to kind of fly close to this asteroid. I don't want to get too close. Is it going to pop up anything as I fly by? Oh, Ooh, you got red stuff. Or is that gold stuff? And there's silver stuff. What are you? Are you iron? Oh, that is iron. Okay, I made the right call coming over here, I think. And there was some silver stuff over here. I don't know what this is. Uh, silver. The silver stuff is actually silver. Go figure. And there's some blue stuff over there that l it looks like it might be magnesium, which means it's probably some one of the Star Trek things. Um... Iron slash silver, because we've got to come back here with the ship anyway now to mine that. And what's this blue stuff? It's a bit too blue. Like, this is a magnesium. But I'm curious, so we're going to go over here anyway. I heard that upgraded tools are faster and more power. Yeah, I think... I think that's the way. I think the T, T, T the first T, what is this? It's geranium. Um, I think the first here is um, faster but more power hungry, and then I think like the second tier is the same speed but more power efficient, and then I think the third one is just faster and more power efficient. I may be wrong, but I believe that is what it was. They, there's no like clear answer on it anymore. They don't. The, the space engineers developers um, stopped updating the Wikipedia a very long time ago. So it's, everyone's just anecdotal guesses from experience. Hello, Turbo. You've been a good boy. All right. Get to the respawn pod, we can get some iron. Uh, and once we have the iron, we should be able to finish building the refinery. The front building the refinery should allow us to actually build the proper thrusters of the respawn pod. And then... Hmm. I don't know. Should we... Should we upgrade? Should we bother with upgrading the respawn pod? Or should we just build... A better ship? A bigger, more, well, not too big because we don't have that many resources, but just a ship with better engine layout and a, a bit more storage. Maybe like one large cargo container instead of a couple small ones. And get rid of the connector wart that's on the drill piston thing. On the Jonathan pill, Jonathan drill piston system. Jonathan drill piston system. That's a mouthful. Um, iron or silver? Okay. Uranium, iron, silver. Uh, let's grab this stuff. 
and then we'll try if there's any asteroids between these this asteroid and home we'll hit those asteroids up on the way and see what's inside them I think I think that'll be a good idea There you go, Jonathan. The new piston drill system. The Jonathan piston drill system. The JPDS. As it shall henceforth be known. And the tagline with... It actually is... The tagline for the system is... It actually works. This silver, yeah, silver. Yeah. Do we need silver? I think we did need silver too, didn't we? We've got gold. I don't mind silver. I've found silver before. See, this is the problem, not having everything on the one ship. I don't remember. Yes, it is indeed. It is indeed perfect. I should put a spotlight on the ship too. Um, I need iron. We need lots of iron. We go through iron like crazy. There was a one beautiful time in this world where you, they would spawn... Actually, it was on the server I was playing with, so it might have been a mod. So I can't say whether or not it was a Space Engineers vanilla thing for certain. But there was, um... The server I played on once had asteroids... <laughs> had asteroids <laughs> that spawned with, like, little bits of everything and stuff. And they had, like, cool shapes to them. I know one of the um, mods I use does spawn bases like on asteroids, custom asteroids like that. Um, it's got like a bunch of balls around a central ball. I don't know. But that, that was good times. Also, we we're nearly full already. I suppose we did grab a bunch of ice, didn't we? How much iron have we got? 144, 35. We got 70,000 worth of iron, nearly. That. That. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to know how close the asteroid I was then to. Um, I'm not going to get the silver. I think I might stop at this, this weird asteroid here. And then the one above it, and that'll be our pathway home. There, there, and then home. I think that'll be the way to go. Also, my game, everything just froze. Why did the game froze? The game crashed. Awesome. <laughs> well, this is my desktop. It's uh, very messy. Uh, the background changes randomly. So, there's that. Alright, let's... Let's get back into this. Let's see how far back in time we're going to go. It shouldn't be too far back. It auto saves every five minutes. I suppose there's no crash report though. It usually it pops up. Or did it pop up and I just clicked it away? I don't remember. I don't know. Bye bye. Alright, let's do continue. It looks like we were just leaving the asteroid by that screenshot. And this is going to take a minute. Ugh. Another big drink. Another big drink. I've only got half an hour left too before I have to go do real life stuff. Damn, I hate real life. Why can't we all just be billionaires, alright? Just, just live a nice life of cool, calm and relaxing. And why is AI taking all their creative jobs? I thought the AIs and the robots were supposed to do the hard labour stuff. But it seems to be that they're getting all the creative, easy, nice, relaxing work. I'm just trying to rant and rave to fill this loading screen up. It takes a while to load with these mods. I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. Leonardo da Vinci. Poor bloke. Sad story. Unfortunately, that's the way life goes sometimes. It's not fair. It sucks. We have to find escape. It's just load. <laughs> You're at 100%. That loaded quicker than normal. Alright. 
let everything load in. Game freak out. Okay, for inventory, we have iron. We still have the same amount of iron. Sweet. Okay, let's try this again. We'll go. <laughs> it actually loaded. That was just, that was quicker than I thought that was going to be. Uh, our Homer raid is there. So we'll go to this crescent-shaped one. And then I thought there was another one above it. Um, apparently not. So we'll go to this question shape one and then we'll head home and finish off that little bit. Why is the screenshot? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. V, there we go. And the sun is over this way. Okay. Uh, a little bit more. I should do that. Alright, we're going to that asteroid there. And I've lost home already. There's a mine layer. Interesting. Homer Raid is there to our top right. Okay, so this bad boy and then home. It's Q messing with the tile. Exactly, he snapped his fingers. Bloody Q. He's always up to some mischief. I love Q. He's one of my favourite characters. I think he's my. Mm. My favourite character, my top three favourite characters for me is uh, Quark, Garrick, and Q. There you go. N none of them are Starfleet. Or human. That's ironic. That's funny enough. I don't know what order I put them in though. Why is my ship slowly listing to the left? Um. Stay this way. Uh, are we there yet? I'm moving at like 90 meters a second is probably not wise considering the limited amount of uh, breakies we have right now. That'd be fine. That thing has the other thing on it. I can tell because it's like that bright golden colour. This has, um, I mean, I guess this is that uranium stuff by the colour. There's a fair bit of it on here, though. That's interesting. I think the listing might be. Just because the ship's slightly moving to the left a bit. Yeah, well, that's why that thrust is going insane. Uh, what do I got? Duranium? Yep, thought so. Pirate Raider? God damn it! That Pirate Raider's still out there. Um, can we get to the home base without going near him? Alright, let's try. I'm gonna go up and around this Cobalt asteroid over here and see if we can kind of loop around. loop around that pirate radar. It's 28 kilometers away. I don't think that they will spawn things when I'm this far out. No, it's not the... okay. It's the ship is just listing weird. Why are you doing that? Um, I'm just gonna turn you off and on. It might be... That listing might be because of two possibilities. Uh, one, it might be because of the little thing, that little small grid thing I have attached to the side that's making out food. Less likely. Um, and, or it more than likely is because there's a connector on a drill that's on a piston. Connectors through those kind of things do tend to cause these weird side effects. Which is why you shouldn't do that. It doesn't always do that, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, it's just moving randomly on its own. I'm not touching the mouse or anything. And there's no reason why it should be going down and to the right. But yeah, 28, you should be fine. Yeah, you should. This should be fine. The home, I'm just kind of concerned as to how close to the home, home base it's going to be. Kind of hoping... 
I'm kind of hoping it's like more of a triangle type situation here where it'll still be 20-ish kilometers away from the home base. Um, we'll see, I guess. Didn't find magnesium though. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh, might check these asteroids out first. I know I keep saying I'm going home and I keep changing my mind, but I really would like to get some magnesium up just so I can get defenses. Oh, we got this Star Trek stuff. What the hell do the phaser arrays take? Um, you take. You're gonna be powerful. You're gonna you're gonna require a lot of power to run though, aren't you? Um. So Darinium grid. So how much power do you need? Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna try and build one of those, some of those on the base. I don't know how. There's iron on this asteroid. Have we been to this asteroid? Did we come to this asteroid already? I haven't got a GPS marker on it. Huh, interesting. Um, let's just... Yeah, you go that way. GPS, iron... What was it? Aluminum? I don't... Yes, aluminum. Aluminium. Aluminium. So it's because I have a small grid ship connected to a large grid on large grid or detector on my ship that this. Um maybe. <laughs> I'd have to see it, but probably. Hydrogen engine. Hydrogen engines would be good in space. I generally don't use hydrogen engines because the ice being difficult to find, but now that we have that ice droid, it might be less of an issue. Um, yeah, I definitely don't use hydrogen en engines on planets. There's no point using on a planet. You'll burn through ice quicker than you can fill it up. Oh, there's a drone coming. Fuck up. Um, NPCs? NPCs? Go to the pirate. It's coming towards me. No, go to the private sale. Go attack that. I know you want to. Go further away. Go. Go to the private sale. I'm gonna have to put a goddamn Star Trek weapon on this thing. Um. Can I even build the Star Trek weapon? You need. Okay, geranium grids. Uh, just give me the assembler. You need geranium for that. Do we have geranium? Did I mine any? I didn't. Damn it. My antenna's off. Maybe we can just ignore it? Do you think ignoring it will work? Um. Here. You know what I'll do? I'll distract it. We'll distract it. Um, decoy blocks don't work, <laughs> but I'm going to do this anyway because I think it's funny. Um, you go that way. You distract it. Good luck to you, decoy blocks. Do your jobs even though you're not welded. I know this won't work. Please don't say that. I'm just kind of, I'm, th I'm grasping at straws here, alright. Sometimes they work. I think for lightning they work, I still think. I usually ignore my problems, it's always... Yeah, I, I've lived that my whole life on that philosophy, and, and yeah, it's it's never come back to bite me in the butt. Never. Just you turn your back on things, and uh, everything's all good. Hunky-dory. Alright. Yeah, if you've still got time to build, power to build stuff, you go build. Uh, I need gravity generator. I've said this like 10 times tonight. I need gravity. I miss gravity. Alright. 
Hopefully that works. I don't think it will because the uh, where's home already? Home already is over here. Um, like it's not gaining on me. Uh, I'm slowly getting away from it. I'm pretty sure it's going to track me down. Go, go after the unknown signal. Go after anything but me. I need to build um, stuff. Problem is. God damn it. I can't I can't go back to the base. I can't lead it there. We haven't got much in we haven't really got that much on the base in terms of like I'm going to that transport. Where's that? What? No, you don't get to spawn and despawn. You don't get to give me false hope like that. God damn it. Alright, uh let's go to this cobalt asteroid. No, we'll go to the aluminum asteroid. Aluminum and duranium because it might have a hole that I can hide in again. Because as we... Oh no, not a vulture. No. 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 We gotta find a hole to hide. I need a hole. I, I need somewhere to hide my... Hide from my problems. I also need power. Okay. A tritanium. I'm also... Oh, mining transport. Mining transport. Let me dock with you. There's also a rust freighter up there. Uh, let's go to the rust freighter. It's closer. It'll be fine. Okay, those other pirate signals seem to have disappeared. Okay. Are we okay? I think ignoring my problem may have worked. I think my problem has gone away. I also think it may be a trap. So we're going to go home, we're going to build up some damn phaser arrays and up oh, the drone's back. It was a trap. It was a trap. They bamboozled me. Let's go to the, let's go hide behind the rust freighter. Let's go trade with it. I mean, I'm not hiding. I'm not using you as a decoy at all. We're just going to go trade. Hello, rust freighter. How is your day? We're here to be friends. We want to trade goods and services. Yeah, yeah, totally not because. Uh, what do you mean, pirate? I don't have any pirate drones chasing. They're not after me. They must be here for you, if there are. All right, all right. How, how's things? You happy? Please tell me you're mad. Please tell me you're at war with the pirates. You should be. I don't know why you wouldn't be. Have to deal with that pirate raider. That pirate raider is just going to continually spawn drones. I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if there's a timer on it for disapp it disappearing. Uh, we'll find out. Turbo, this is. You want to go outside? You want to go be free? Okay. I'll see you in about two minutes when you decide you want to come back in. Hello, friend. How's things? I want to trade with you. No, I'm not using you as a shield. I would never do that. You're my friend. No, no. I'm not going to hide behind you. It's just because my thrust, my this have my space vessel doesn't have good braking thrust. I'm not using you as a shield. I would never do that. Never. So are you just sitting still? You're one of those ones that spawned in and decided, I don't want to move. That's cool. Problem solved. Problem not completely solved. Oh, the, the freight is starting to move. Okay, let's, uh... Can I... Okay. Yeah. I don't know what you're shooting at me. Okay, little friend, I go. Protect me! Protect me from your enemies! <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> We're all fine. Alright, where's home? Home is over that way. 
All right, thanks for your assistance. Um, I'm hoping that Raider drone is focused on you. I mean, we'll peel off. We'll, yeah, have a good day. I don't think that drone is completely destroyed, but hopefully it was damaged enough that I can deal with it if I have to. I'm also kind of hoping that it will fixate on uh, that, that freight anyhow, instead of me. Thank you for your assistance, Freighter. Uh, if you want to go take out, take care of that raider for me too, that'd be great. Also, the ship is listing again. That's fine. It's all fine. It's fine. Pirate raider. That scared the crap. No, that drone. These drones. Why didn't you go attack him? Why are you always after me? Why is my my dampers on? They are on. God damn it! That was a dumb part on my part. I'm really kind of annoyed. Go away and leave me alone. Nobody likes you. I don't want to be your friend. I've had enough of you. Go home. Go get fuel. Don't come back. You can't be friends if you're going to act like this. Alright. I don't know where he's going. He's not coming to me. I am fine with him not coming to me though. See, it looks like he's gone, right? He's not on the radar. But I swear he's still there. I know if I stop, he's going to show up instantly. That's fine. We're going home. Screw it. Are we going home? That's not home. Where's home? Home is... Behind me. Oh God. <laughs> I was going to Smoky 1. I forgot that we named it Homeroid. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. It was dumb. We only got two minutes of power too. God damn it. It's all fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Oh, there's two of them. Why is there two of you? This game. I hate this game. I hate you. We can't be friends. Where's that freighter? The freighter's 10 kilometers away. Where's another freighter? Leave me alone. You're not shooting at me, so hopefully that means your weapons were disabled. But there is another one. Um, where is the other one? Was there another one? There was another one, right? I wasn't. Was I just? I wasn't being deluded or anything. Was I? much stuff going on. <laughs> too, too many bad guys, not enough good guys. And I told you that the, the guy, he says he's gone, it's off the radar, but he's not. He's still there. Oh, my antenna's on too. I hate how you spawn with that thing turned on. That's probably what it is. It probably is attacking. Yeah. Anyway, it's my own fault. Gotta write that down. We gotta remember. We gotta turn our antennas off when we spawn. Otherwise, we're going to keep having these guys attack us on non-stop, and I don't want that. There's a vulture out there. Please don't tell me there's a vulture coming towards me. That would be annoying. Don't do that. I can't handle a vulture. Ugh. Break, damn you, break! I said break, fool! God, we're not even halfway through this break. Break! Please! Please! Break! Okay. No, no. Uh, too fat and heavy. Stop your nonsense. Break! Alright, there we go. And... Raider drone is incoming fast. Raider drone sucks. I hit you. I hate the Raiders. I hate the Raiders. The Raiders can go and suck it. Uh, uh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad.
Oh, it's just gonna be bad. Stop shooting my stuff! Nobody likes you. I'll listen to like the two seconds. What is that door? Oh, god damn it. One. One. Eh. Move, ship, move. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fine. That the survival kit still works. This is freaking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I really, really hate you. I hate you, stupid drone. Let me out of this thing. Piss off. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. Piss off. I don't want to be your friend. Go away. Go away! Nobody likes you. You're unloved and unwanted in the world. Stop shooting that crap at me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. I don't like you. Okay, let's just... Do that. Can I turn the stupid antenna off that keeps spawning with it on? Because why would you do that? Right. It's annoying. Let's go over this way. Bugger off, drone. Bugger off. You've ruined my life. I hope you crash into that damn... I thought that was you crashing. Is that you crashing? Did you do a dumb? Please tell me you did a dumb. Did you do a dumb? Let's have a look. You did do it, Dom. I hate you. I hate you with everything. I hate you and I hate everything that you're about. Alright. Bugger off. Damn, you annoying little crap. I hate you. I hate you and we cannot be friends. Not now, not ever. I do want your stuff though. Do you have ammo in there? You do have like a small amount of ammo. I'll take it. Give me your stuff. You ruined everything. Here I am having a nice peaceful day out in the galaxy. And you come along. And you ruin it with your piratey ways. And I hate you. And we can't be friends. And now I have to devise a way to destroy you and your entire clan. Might as well get your family while I'm at it because you ruined my day. You ruined it. You ruined it and I don't like it. Alright, let's go see what's left of this ship that's just floating out of control in space. If I could even find the respawn board. Alright, uh, I should probably grab my body stuff too first. Of course there's something that I can use to distract. <laughs> it's just floating away. Um, which one of you actually has my, I think it's just the drill that I really want. You don't have anything worthwhile. Um, what about you? You have it. Okay, sweet. We got that. That's all I really cared about. Now, where is the respawn board? Where is it? Where is it? To my right. There it is. All right. What have we got going on with you? Why are we spinning out of control? crazy like huh why are we so insane you've got a gyro um the drill is empty uh, is the container empty the connector I can't actually eh. no nope. I need to get on it there we go uh, connector. The connector is not empty. The connector is full of crap. Crap. Alright. Why am I not moving? My freaking thrust is off. Alright. This is not going to be fun. Eh. 
The control set's gone. That's right. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> need a second. <laughs> All right. Um. Need control seat. Can I? Do we have enough things to actually make one of these? Can. Uh. No. Okay. Whatever. Need computers and displays. Make that. Um, refinery. Inventory. Refinery. Get the silicon. Are you actually able to be moved? Okay, you're not. Um, I don't know why my character is sliding. Like, it, it, Give me that. Uh, assembler. Take that. Uh, refinery, are you turned on? No, oh, you're turned off. Okay. Alright, what do we need? Oh, bugger off! Seriously. Go away. That's enough. <laughs> For Christ's sake. Uh. Fucking hate when this shit happens. Where is it? Where is it? Uh. Fucking radar drones, man. Just leave me alone. Did you ask permission to touch your guns? No, I did not. <sighs> I have a level of hate towards what just happened there. Right, where's the stupid bait? I hate pirates. I hate the damn raider drones. Just let me retrieve my stuff. <laughs> Sorry, it'll be fine. I'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's always fine. It'll be fine. It is fine. Okay. Ah, drones. I haven't even been playing that long. I haven't been playing that long. I hate this pirate base. Oh, screw it. Fuck it. Let's go. It's pirate raider. We're gonna ram it. Why? Because it's annoyed the crap out of me. <laughs> Is this a wise idea? Probably not. But screw it. We can't let these people bully us around without any consequences. So we are going to ram it at full speed. It's probably not going to do anything to it. They're probably going to get murdered straight away. But I'm annoyed and frustrated. And I want some sort of revenge. Just just leave me alone, man. That's all you have to do. Leave me alone. At least wait until I put like one weapon up. Let me have something to defend myself with. But no. Yep, hello, drone. Fortunately, I'm going to ignore you. And I'm going straight for the radar. Because this guy is annoying. And nobody likes him. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Godspeed. Thank you, Jonathan. This mission. We will do this. We will succeed. We will probably get shot out of the sky. But it is for a good cause. I hate pirate raiders. I absolutely hate them. I hate them with my heart. I hate them with everything that I am. And I hate them. I just hate them. Go! <laughs> oh, that asteroid has a lot of iron on it. I'm just gonna drop a GPS marker from here. <laughs> A little bit cheaty, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, all right. Where's my home? Respawn, home and raid. It's up there. 62 kilometers from home. Oh, that was fun. Um... 
Not so much what led me to it. Do you want to see if I can find it? Uh, entity list. Oh god, there's so much stuff out there. Um, rated drone. Respawn spaceport. Nope, that's what I'm currently in. Station defense. Oh, did it actually despawn? It may have despawned. I don't want to look at any of these stuff, because I don't know where this stuff is. Uh... Distance from, distance from player, 7.2 kilometers. Okay, it must be this one. Hey, this is the one that we shot. Oh, it's gone. Oh. I think that was the one. Oh, it's got more oh, Raider drones are coming at me already. God damn it, that's annoying as crap. Stop spawning them. Stop it. I'm gonna have to take these out. You know, it's gonna annoy the sh hell out of me. It's gonna be non stop. And I don't like it. Alright. I don't like you guys. I don't like your spawning. I don't like your nonsense. Though I think we did a fair bit of damage on the radar. I don't know. We're gonna have a look. Once I get rid of it. Once, once these guys kill me or I defeat these guys by using good old fashioned violence. away on my seat. Um, give me that. <laughs> I need that back. Oh, you had stuff in you too. Oh, well, you don't now. Alright. Uh, where'd the other one go? I'm gonna put my seat back on there. I'm not done raiding them. These guys will pay. And I... Can I get after my ship, please? I'm moving 110 meters a second. How am I not catching this ship? CD. Um, what the hell is in my way? There's nothing there. Why won't you let me? Is there like a oh, there's a light fucking this thing. I really don't need light right now. We are going full on uh, interior plate construction components. Okay, were well you not that one then? Were you? Well, you obviously went that one. Was it this one? Uh, which seat? You still need like one interior plate. That's annoying here. Makes sense, I suppose you did get shot. Alright. Let's have a look. Dampeners off. Alt F10. Uh, so that was what that originally looked like. That one is like 70 kilometers away. This one is now 20 kilometers away. Uh, yeah, we did. A, I think we hit her pretty good. Unfortunately, I think it's still going to keep spawning crap. Don't spawn anything anymore! Go away! What way was it heading? You're heading that way. And everything is behind you. Yes, keep going! Go away! Don't come back! Alright. There's Raider Drone though. I'm gonna take care of you. Don't you worry. I... 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 Am... Not happy with you guys. So, we're going to take you out as well. Because... You gotta do what you gotta do, alright? Like... Anything you can do to level the playing field. I missed. Because the damn thing blew up my damn interior plate. Yeah, focus on the ship. No, focus on the ship. I am not a ship. I am a human being. I have rights. My right is to destroy you. Ha! Ah. Problem is it rotates. <laughs> oh, I can still get on this one. Sweet. I need to find which side of it it has the tire on it. Okay, so this side is clear at the moment. Nope. Mm. Nope. Okay. Wait, you only have a tire on one side. All right, you do. Yeah. No, 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 no. <sighs> and I can't. <sighs> Can't press Control Z. Gotcha, you prick. No, I said got you. Bastard. Nobody likes you. Suck it. 
Suck it. Hate you. Hate you in your stupid ways. Right, where is... Okay. Give me that. Okay, are you done? Control panel. Okay, so did me. Sure. That makes no sense why you're doing that, but whatever. Give me this. And can I please take these? No. These are no longer connected. You done flipping out like a m mental person? You done? Yeah. And let me grab these. I'm taking your ammo. Right. I'm taking it all. I hate you. Me and you, pirates, are enemies for life. Alright, and also turn my damn antenna off. Get all of these bits. Hopefully I can get enough to repair my ship. Or at least put a cockpit on it and then fly back to our base. And hope maybe even rescue the other one. I mean... We should be fine. We got this. Can you weld up that remote and take control? Uh, yeah, I have a. You can. Sort. Of, if I didn't grind it all down already. <laughs> um, you can take control of the chips. I have a mod on called um, Hostile Takeover. It makes it so I only have to grind down key component, key uh, key components, key bits of the ship to take it over. Things like control seats, med bays, and weapons. And then it just the ship will unown itself, and then you can just go in and transfer ownership to yourself. Um, in vanilla, without that mod, you have to grind down every single thing that is that is a component. So you have to grind down all your assemblers, your refineries, your gyros, your batteries, etc., etc., all of that stuff. It, it's a tedious process, the vanilla way. But you can take over ships. It's quite fun. All right. Where is my respawn board? Um, okay, well, where is the closest respawn board? It's one 1.8 kilometers away, that must be the one. Alright. That was something, what was that? Oh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about the body. I just want to get back to this ship. And I'm probably going to die from... Um, food or something. Alright. That actually worked really well, that control Z that time. Can I... I need, like, 78 computers, 72 computers and some things um, to make a control Z. Do you have computers? You don't have them anywhere near enough. What about you? What are you, two? What about you? You're four? Okay, maybe, can I Frankenstein this ship to get enough computer? Oh, god damn it. Inertial dampeners, man. Why? What, why are my dampeners off? What? What is going on? I think the game's having a moment. Okay, dampeners are off, okay. okay. What the hell is going on? Why is there like me pre why is me pressing Z lowering my thruster speed? What? Uh okay. That's weird. Um Okay. <laughs> Something weird is happening. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what happens when, when things start going weird? What you do is you just do that. Uh, respawn yourself and that will sometimes fix things. And sometimes it just means I have to restart the game. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to restart. <laughs> Damn it! Why? <sighs> Exit. Save. Sometimes... Weird stuff happens. I don't know why it's doing that. There might be a button that I press or something. Maybe 
but I've never seen that happen before where the um the um the I was pressing Z to re enable to re enable the inertial dampeners on my while I was in my suit and it wouldn't do it. It's just like no, I'm not doing it. I don't like you. I'm like calm down. But hey, it is what it is. And it is very annoying. Oh. So, how do you guys usually deal with that kind of problem with the drones? Did you try ramming speed? <laughs> oh, I should, knew I should have put weapons. I would have thought I would have had a little bit more time to build weapons, though. So that ram on that um, that ram on that prior raider seemed to do a pretty good job, taking out a large chunk of it. I must have hit the cargo containers or uh, the hydrogen tank or something like that to make an explosion that big. Um, but uh, if it works, it works, all right. It ain't dumb if it works. Okay, come on. All right. Uh, okay. My dampeners aren't turning back on. Ugh. Why aren't my dampeners turning on? I'm gonna have to Google it. That's really annoying. Anyway, uh, you don't have it. You, nothing else. Computers in this thing. You don't need it. Um, you're not gonna need it. You're not gonna need it. Um, I'm just gonna grab a bit of computers from everything that doesn't need it. It's gonna be so annoying doing it this way. Until I can figure out what the hell's going on. Alright, we got that, we got that. How many more do we need? Are we even gonna have enough? It's... 50. We need another 50. We're not gonna have enough to do this. Alright, is there anything in this ship worth grabbing? We're just gonna grab what we can. Um, and then we'll head to home. I'm taking the damn ammo. Give me these. Uh, you can have that. I want the oxygen bottle. No, you're not going to give me the oxygen bottle? That's rude. Uh, take the battery. Give me the, give me the oxygen bottle, god damn you. Uh, I don't want the radio components. Okay. Alright, that's everything. We're abandoning this ship. Alt-Z, you have... Doing Alt-Z. It's not working. This brings up an overlay. Control Z, not working. Z, not working. Um, I think there's probably like some top secret little option that I've somehow managed to accidentally click into, and it's making my life a misery right now. That's fine. It's not fine, but it is what it is. Um, where's my phone? Here's my phone. Let's go to good old Google. Space engineers. I can't activate dampeners. Dampeners not working. Suit dampeners. Oh, those are the baseball dampeners. Anyway. Yeah, it is. Strange. It's very, very strange. Dampeners not working. Okay. June 2023. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, it's a spacesuit. Thrusters, batteries don't matter. This is all for ship stuff. This is not at all helpful. Uh, well, we'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure it out later. Are we home yet? How far away from it are we? We're a good distance away from home base. <sighs> Well, uh, let's go escape. Let's go. Let's just have a look. Let's have a look in the controls. Um, let's see if there's like some stupid 
thing where it's like, oh, you press this button, then it makes things not work. And you're like, hey, I don't like that. Okay, down, crouch, giant jetpack, rolls, yes, we know that. Okay, systems and interaction, jetpack on and off, inertial dampeners on and off. Doesn't seem to be any like random other stuff. Park, there's a park, pause game, console help, contract, voice chat, view, player control, F6, static, first person view. Um, go like that, like that. There we go. Okay. So I went into. That's, that is weird. I don't know what the hell is going on there. So I just went into F8, which is like the orbital camera thing. And I pressed F6 again, and now it's working. I don't, yeah, okay, I don't, I don't know what the hell that was all about. But hey, we fixed it. So everyone here, write that down. <laughs> if that ever happens to you, just go into orbital camera mode, and maybe it will fix itself for you. I don't know. Um, what I do know is that we are in a bad spot right now. And Turbo wants to come back inside. Come on, Turbo. No. You're a good dog. Now, hopefully what we do... Yeah, hopefully when we get back to this base, hopefully the, um, the remains of the other spawn pod, our original one, are still floating about nearby and we can get um, some materials off that and get rebuilt. Hopefully, um, there's no um, there's no respawn thing there though. So hopefully the assembler is still in somewhat of a condition, or at least we can get the find the bits for the assembler. Um, if we even make it, God, this food and water situation is probably going to be the death of us. Though I don't know if we'll make it. I think we might. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, this is a bit of a sticky situation. Not gonna lie, I am not entirely thrilled about this right now. I am not the happy chappy that I was once was thirty minutes ago. <laughs> um, but it's my own fault. I have my antenna, which I still have on. Hey, if we can see the asteroid, that's progress, all right? It's thirty kilometers out. We can see it. I don't know what to say. I'm just a bit... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright, we just... Keep soldiering on. And hope that stupid drone despawn. At the base. Because if it didn't... Then I'm going to be really annoyed. Especially considering how far away from it we were. The base, that is. There's no reason why anything should be still spawned at the base. That isn't mine. I mean, I don't know if trash cleanup would have. Oh, that raider's still out there. Go away. That's a pirate mayday. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> Oh, we're just going to sit here in silence. So what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you guys in the world? Uh, what's your experiences with this? Let me know. Come on. Let's keep this chat going because it's going to be a minute of a flight. We're down to one water. It just ticked over, I saw. I guarantee it. we're probably going to run out of water just as we approach and we'll die because I won't be have any way to drink it because my helmet... Do I have water in my inventory? No. Oh, that'd be... I can't... I don't have anywhere safe to drink the water because there's no oxygenated area. And what's my... My health's at 100, so maybe I can drink the water. It takes four seconds to drink the water. And then I can... Uh, a large storage? Yeah, I hope so. I did the dumb thing of parking the rope that... The, the drone didn't seem to be interested in shooting anything but me. Being new, I mess up and screw myself over a bunch. Yeah, everyone does that. That's just the learning process. 
This pirate raiding nonsense though, that's just evil. I don't even know why is it, why is it, is that a vanilla thing? Because the only mod I have on that handles uh, other spawning things is the Star Trek mod. And I don't think the Star Trek mod would sp is spawning this type of stuff. So this must be vanilla. Um, this must be a bit of vanilla thing with this pirate raider. Raider. Which is really freaking annoying and I hate it. But just you wait, I'm gonna get wet. Oh, I mean, here we go. We're dying of water. We're not gonna make it, boys. I'm just gonna aim for the asteroid and hopefully my corpse makes it to it. And now there's a pirate vulture out there. Why is there a pirate vulture out there? Why? One reaver showed up and lived my base with rockets. Six hours work, hot in 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. That does happen. I had a mate once we were playing, and he built... We are playing with a Star Trek mod, actually, funny enough. And he built a base on a... Uh, was it on a moon or an asteroid? I think it was on a moon. He built a base on a moon. <laughs> and he pissed off the... He annoyed the Klingons in the mod. And they were just bombarding his base with photon torpedoes from, like, 20 kilometers out. Yeah. He was not happy about that. I was like, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> yep. Well, it looks like my bag is heading towards home, so my stuff might make it. I don't want to be on this ship. I don't want to be on this one. Can I get a new one? Um, no, you're going to force me to spawn on this one? No, you're not. There you go, spaceport. This one. Please don't be far away. We're a hundred kilometers from home. Uh... Uh, this is not a happy smoky sound. This is not a happy sound of me at all. Well, I guess we can head that way and, uh... uh I don't know. <laughs> you know what, to be honest with you, I actually have to leave in about 10 minutes anyway. So we might just rope this stream up for now. Uh, I'll come back on... Hopefully I can do, do, do some streaming again tomorrow. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed talking to everybody. We come back on tomorrow. And then we can pick up from here where we left off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. But I hope you like, guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave, like, subscribe. You know, all the other YouTube nonsense that everyone has to tell you guys. Uh, and as always, have a good one. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Hopefully, when we're a bit closer to base, I might just let this run for a bit. There's a great... Well, thank you for the... It's a great stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. I did. I had fun. I hope you all did too. Bye! Say bye to everyone.